Where do you find this guy? <laughs> this is beautiful. We're all about giving back to the people, so yeah. Shout out to you, man. Thank Easy you. bet in the building. Thank you so much. Score a seven zero. If we if we make a tough luck. Now you married in com- in community, then everything's on your name. Are you watching? Before top sixteen youth owned brands awards brought to you by Standard Bank top be- beverage brand Granger Gin. Ah. Drink of champions. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I heard uh, Nasty C's girl is pregnant. Damn, that's nasty, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it gonna be a C-section? <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> the press. Well, I forgot to bring this last week. What is it? Got too excited. Got this in. Uh, uh, oh in shit! In America, the yeah, Statue yeah. of Liberty. Well, my woman got it for me. You know, she always gets, uh, gets me something. Uh, yeah, yeah, the her. souvenirs. Oh, so you mean that's all one. you got? Yes, <laughs> again. <laughs> again. <laughs> that's the Empire State Building, no? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Statue of Liberty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I'm talking about one of the buildings in here. Um, yeah, yeah. And then is that Queensbridge? So why didn't you? Yeah. Have- that's also, Queens a little Bridge, figurine right? from Botswana. No, but Queen's Bridge is a place. Huh? And Zambia. You remember, you've traveled all these countries. Why are you not being fair, Mike? Yeah, ne? Yeah, you've, we went to Zambia. Why is there no figurine representing Zambia or Zimbabwe or Botswana? It's because she only comes with me for international trips. But then you must look for this. Ah, but Nanedi comes. Like for <laughs> ah, in, uh, get your minds out the gutter. You wonder why our guest was flushy in purple. Get your get your minds out the fucking gutter. We're not gonna get into that. Nah, we're not gonna get into that. But there's a guest was flushy in purple because of these fucking imbeciles. Make it to calm. Oh, like whoa! What that score is six. Whoa. If you beat your cricket match, I'm sure you sing. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Where do you find this guy? <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> ah, now lady comes, but at the end of July, she came. She came along. Yeah, because she knows. was not overseas. My <laughs> 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 lady comes whenever she suspects <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> she puts her blue light on. Where are you going to put it? Uh, take, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, fuck, I forgot to tell you guys, <laughs> man. You know, we always go crazy when mm-hmm. someone's uh, picture goes up on the Times Square building. Like uh, it's an African artist. Yeah, so especially like, oh. Spotify has been doing it a lot. With you can Doom. pay for that, bro. They pay you. You can pay for that. It's two thousand uh. dollars. Oh, it's two thousand rands. Yeah. Uh. Is it two, no, no, not not twenty thousand rand. I'm sure it's more than that. Two thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh, it's forty. 40. It's about yeah. forty. Sorry, my yeah, bad. 40K. Yeah, forty. Forty k. Yeah. So if we had forty k, we could have the podcast and chill thing on the Times Square. Though. But we don't need it though, to no. be honest. It would be a. Uh, it's, it would be for the gram. Because I mean, what do you get? In return, really, really. But it's a nice flex. Yeah, it's a bro. nice flex. It's a nice I, flex. I, I was about to say, no, no, we want it. No. no, no, it's a nice flex if they put you on it. It's a nice flex, I get it. But is it a worthy investment? Is, that's my thing. Do you... How about... Let's, let's, let's return on investment for that. Let's raise 40k and see. Let's yeah. find out. What okay. would it do for us? Mm. Okay, cool. Let's raise 40k. Mm. It won't do anything for us. I'm telling you now. Mm. <gasps> it won't. Because we all... 
Look, I mean, unless you, what would it do for us? How for how long? How many times? Oh, it's okay. like five, ten minutes. Ah, no, we need that thing up Is for, it the, still whole, a worthy for the whole week. <laughs> uh, you meant spending 40k in five minutes. No, but okay. I think how many times on this podcast we've applauded people who have been on those billboards, right? Mm. So mm. we acknowledge them. Black Coffee was one. I think, um, was it Tyler? Also? Devin Gogo. Yeah. So we, 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 us, we're like, yay, look who made it on Times Square billboard. Nah, there's some oh, things that are just better when they do happen organically. It's like TikTok challenges. You know, like when you get a song and it blows up and it's got a genuine challenge. You still think some of it's these challenges are thing. organic or no, no, they people pay, plan nah, for these things. No, it's all paid. It's all paid. Yeah, yeah. eighty percent of them are paid. Exactly. So it's not longer organic. It's just. But you still get organic ones. Like um, um, nigga, did it have a challenge? Ah, no, that's was just too much. It didn't. But if it were to have a challenge, it would have been organic. You know what I mean? Did you hear that? Because even the influencers. Hold on. Did yeah. you hear that? What do you call a black man in America? Nigga. <laughs> no, wow. <laughs> What do you call, call a black man, man in, in America? America. Ah, that's, cool. <laughs> that's 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 funny. Yeah, sorry you say yes. <laughs> no, I'm saying like yeah, it's a whole thing. Even like the top influencers on 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 on, on, on TikTok. Um, the one who start challenges, they charge for that. Mm. They yeah. like to a dance challenge and this and that. They put a whole thing. So it's no longer organic, man. And it's pointless to me if it's not organic. True. Anyway. Waste of money. Inda, what mean, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. So Paducah's here. Dudu's here. Black Studios here. Ghost Ladies here. Fat Checkers here. Some P.O.A. is here. Yeah. And this episode is brought to you by Manscaped, the best male grooming company in the world. In the world. I was thinking to myself, ghost lady, what do females use to groom down there? Um, razors. Razors. And, yeah, razors. Or go to wax. Go have a, a professional oh. wax done. How much is a wax? A bikini wax. Uh, I don't know how much it is. I don't you do, do that stuff. Like you go to wax. You're like married, I mean. You're a bride. I wouldn't expect her to groom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the performance package 4.0 by Manscaped has arrived. Uh, you can join over 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer just for chillers. Uh, 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code MACG at manscaped.com. So it's simple. So yeah. go to manscaped.com. Okay. If you want this, yeah. type the code MACG and you get 20% off and you get free worldwide shipping. So anywhere in the world, they'll ship it to you. So they'll shave 80% off. Well, don't shift 20%. Hey, you're hey, not rolling. Eh? Uh, inside the package, you can get a lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, a weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, a crop preserver bowl de uh, deodorant, a crop Dope. reviver toner, Dope. manscaped boxes, uh, boxes, which are pretty comfortable, pretty cool as well, Double and itself. a travel bag to hold your goodies. Dope. So visit Manscaped. <laughs> travel bag to hold your goodies. <laughs> uh, visit manscaped.com. And the code is MACG. Also, last week, I think without a doubt, we had the probably the best incentive uh, we've ever had for Ooh. the uh, Sunbed Arena yes. event. Thanks to Easy Bet. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we've got Bradley. Please welcome Bradley from Easy Bet. Yeah? Bradley with the guns. So what up, Bradley with the guns? Yeah, Bradley. Bradley. So Bradley's here to help us uh, get a winner because we need to announce a winner today. All you had to do was buy yourself a ticket to Sunbed Arena happening 30th of July and uh, you could walk away with two front row seats uh, which will be upgraded, a five-star hotel stay in Pretoria for two, an Uber Black chauffeured experience, a five-bottle Grandeur hamper, Whoa. and a meet and greet with the crew. Imagine. Shout out to EasyBet for that one, man. Shout so, out to uh, Bradley. Are you a bouncer at EasyBet? No, I'm the head of marketing. Oh, head of Jeez, marketing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. You do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> In the office, you're doing the heavy lifting. Uh, so can you do the heavy lifting for us today, man? <laughs> oh, is this see. the raffle now? Yeah, So yeah, these yeah. are all the names of the entries. All the names, yeah. One lucky name. Yes. Oh. All right, Bradley. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see who we got here. All right, we've got Njabulo Sikutu. Njabulo Sikutu. Let's give him a call. School is nice. Let's give him a call, man. School is nice. Are you coming, eh, Bradley? 
Two sun bed. Front row. Front row, no? Nice. Front row. Mm. Oh, man, Brad. So you don't need an upgrade. <laughs> nah. Maybe, maybe. Nah. Are you coming with the missus? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Let's call the response. Ja Let's hope. <laughs> Yeah. But a lot of ladies are disappointed. That's a responsible thing to do. A lot of ladies? I'm sure a lot of ladies are disappointed. Like, oh, he's not available. Speak for yourself. Hey, You're Njabulo. disappointed. Njabulo. <laughs> How are you, my brother? Number one. Uh, congratulations. You are live on podcast and chill. Soul is here. Ghost ladies. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. No, this is not Metti. This is not so. It is, oh, my dog. Come on, man. What do you think it's it good, is? It's good as nice. It's good as nice. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. Okay, okay. You okay. can say shit. That's fine, bro. Okay. Yeah, this ain't radio, dog. Okay. Yeah. Okay, shit. Okay, shit. Okay, shit. Okay, shit. Say motherfucker. Okay. Let's hear motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> there we go. That's it. No podcast until you, you say motherfucker. Uh, Jabula, congratulations. Wow. You've won yourself two front row seats, a five star wow. hotel stay in Pretoria, an mm. Uber black chauffeured experience, Fuck. five bottles of grandeur hamper, Jeez. a meet and greet with us. Whoa. And you shall be there with us 30th of July at Sunbed Arena, all thanks to Easy Bed. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Where are you from, bro? Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Katlehong, bro. Oh, oh okay. Wow. West Bank, West Bank, West Bank. Can I understand that? Who's from Katlehong? Am I Panga? No, it's Luma View. Oh, it's Luma. What? Luma, put some down. I'm so sorry. Enjoy. What's the big night club up in Katlehong, man? Dala, man. Yeah, I remember you saying that, but it was like a long time back, man. Yeah, it's paparazzi, boy. It's a corner. I just ah man, come on now. You need we need something else now, yabo. Yeah, boo, yeah, poise. Yeah, boo, yeah. We have like we have like Biblos now, which is coming up. Oh, nice. Uh, Bando, places, but I mean, they're not conquer. You mean I mean? You, is Muchacho still there, man? Ah, uh, Muchacho, ah, uh, Muchacho is not. They were building it. I I, I don't know what happened. Is there that hotel there? Hundred grand, eh? Mali la hotel there. That's still the ass hotel. Go inside, you saw it. I know about it. And, and you know, the churches used to use Muti on me. Yeah, I have a back lawyer when I read it. They used to, what did they do to you? So they would come to, because Muchachos and Paparazzi were close to each other. Yeah, Muchachos hey. by Huntersfield. Yeah, so yeah. they would come yeah. to Paparazzi and put stuff by the door, and then no one would come. Uh, Is it? But your friend, uh, oh, why didn't you respond? Oh, yeah. my man, I didn't know those things, my man. Uh, uh, are you not trained? Uh, you're not trained. Pop town vendor. Man. So we're wondering, my man, we've got Black Hawk, we've got Tira on the lineup, but no one's coming. I was there on Black Hawk for don't lie or something. Oh, yeah, 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 I was lying about that, but I'm saying, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on other nights. I waited for him for fucking 2, 3 a.m. I was supposed to be at 12. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I remember. Came there with a fedora. There is, I was there in the yeah. crowd, yeah. Jabula, congratulations one All more that, time, man. my dog. Jabula Skudu. All right, sweet, man. Skudu is nice, man. Skudu is nice. Skudu is nice, bro. One second. I'm nice. Skudu is nice. Oh, shit, motherfucker. <laughs> Can I just say something? Can I just say something? Yeah. Of course. From the bottom of my heart, you got a good the opportunity to learn and I'm a nigger. I'm a nigger. Why in herself, who sends an abound to song this in Kerubonga? I think, please. Yo, shout out, man. Shout out, man. That's so not speaking Fanagalo. You heard that? Yeah, it's a lingo, it's a lingo, it's a lingo. Oh, so why? Umlungo, I hope you. Umlungo, I think, no, Monte K. One, you put them down and Jovan in Jeremy in a barber with you when a Kuruma name in Jabudo school to Baba's good is nice in a cut. Makutu money. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, shout out, man. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much, Bradley. Shout out to Easy Bird, man. Yeah, just last one. Yeah, come uh, speak on my mic, bro, because uh, we, we didn't think you were going to speak. <laughs> uh, can you use this mic? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, yeah, here we go. Here's the mic, bro. Yeah. Just a quick one to the chillers. I'd like to encourage them to keep on, you know, subscribing to Easy Bet using that promo code. We have some interesting and very cool prizes coming along. Yeah, they got some cool incentives coming along. Yes. Can you tell them, like, some of the things in the pipeline? Uh, some of the things we're going to do, like, a Valentine's giveaway. Wow. A romantic giveaway for the couple. We're going to do um, 
in January, we're going to yeah. give away uniform to school kids. Mm. And then oh, also, shout out, yeah. man. And then we're also going to do oh, like sh- trolley dashes in December, yeah. you know, get people fed and stuff. So that's, we all about giving back to the people. So, yeah. Shout out to you, man. Thank Easy you. bait in the building. Thank you so it's much. Tough luck. <laughs> Uh, and this week here is the incentive for this week if you buy yourself a ticket for Sunbed Arena 30th of July all thanks to Miss Prue she is generously offering a beauty spa treatment for three lucky winners and a partner of their choice when you purchase a ticket this week for Road to One Million event uh, don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to indulge in a pampering session at Sedi Beauty and Wellness Spa in Rivonia Uh, contact them on WhatsApp or you can give them a call on 0615852571. That's 0615852571. T's and C's apply. Where else did you go for a spa, my dog? Uh, what did you do at the spa, Gonja? Massages. Massages. Young Oh, yeah, pedicures. in Chen, when I went for my uh, vacation with my woman, we went to Bonabona. Yeah. Um, it's a place in I think Northwest, and they've got a um a whole thing there. Yeah. A Laka Laka Spa. Oh yeah, I saw and the pictures. Yeah, yeah when I you posted. When yes. When I was in the jacuzzi. Yeah. That was the Lord. Yeah. 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 Actually, I should do it. I'm I'm due one now. Now I want to like escape for a weekend. Mm. Weekend, I'm I'm free. Bounce. Uh, how was your first day in July? It was dope, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was dope. Uh, yeah, it was dope. It was dope, man. You enjoyed it. Yeah, I wish we. Were, yeah, it was dope. I regret now not having like the suits and stuff. But we didn't go there early. We should have gone there early and have the suits and stuff. Next time I'm going, I'm gonna wear the suits and stuff. I was, I was shocked. You didn't, yeah, I was shocked you didn't wear a suit, dog. I thought you got the memo, and you like those kind of things. Suits me. I like suits. I like the the, the series. The series, yes. <laughs> Suits me. No, I hate suits, bro. Yeah. I hate suits. I hate dressing up. Like, I like looking good, but I hate dressing up. Like, yeah. you know, uh, suits and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man, uh, you know. So, it was okay. It was cool, man. But we went there late. We were busy getting drunk uh, by the, B- uh, the B&B. Yeah. Uh, well, the Airbnb. Uh, we didn't go there early, you know, to see the people, the, 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 the horses and the places. Yeah. We are just there to play at night. Hey, you know what was my highlight, Ghost Lady? Yep. So at one of the after parties, we had Spooda, right? You know Spooda? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we're there. I think it's probably like our last gig. It's like three, four in the morning. Somewhere in Durban CBD, we had a gig there. I forgot where we, yeah, where we were. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. So I'm playing there, eh? and it's almost time for my set to end. So I'm like, let me push the new single uh, with T-Man and I say, <laughs> Baba Way to. Right? So I look for the next person who's right next to me because they gave me the mic, right? Uh, and then the next... <laughs> Person who was next to me was was Smooda. Okay. So I'm like, Smoo, please grab the mic and push. But he's playing. The music is pumping. Yeah, I'm he's, rocking. He's it's like got out to the end of his set. Oh, okay. Now he wants to play the song that he just dropped. Yeah, so people know. Mid party. <laughs> so I'm like, Smooda, please grab the mic, ne? And tell them that this is my new single with uh, Tima and Say Baba Way to blah blah blah. So Smooda gets the mic, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. He goes, San Monan! <laughs> Oh, no way. Ninja. Oh, no way. I'm Sanje. Petty make G. So now people are like, Oh, then go my inch. Nifuni is go my inch. Nifuni is a knock. Oh, no, God. Jay-Z is like, look at him. His pianist, his keyboard is like, AP. I'm standing behind me and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, yes, we're gonna hear it. And then he's like, make G, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah, uh, ah, uh, make G, make G, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But it was so awkward. My house, make G, make G, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And it's funny. And no one spoke about it, right? <laughs> to the following time, I'm like, actually, what happened? And everybody's like, yeah, yeah. Funny, what, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? San Bona. <laughs> Ninja, Ninja. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> Ninja. 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 
Guys, never give the mic to someone who has church announcements. Guys, it's not like those church announcements. Ninja. At the club. Oh, man, that, that was, was funny. Man. Was anyway, uh, 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 what does everybody think about this new Mark Zuckerberg app? Uh, what is it called? Threads. Threads. Yeah. What, what does everybody think about Threads? It's Twitter. It's, it's, it's essentially Twitter um, tidied up. Mm. There's no DMs. There's some limits. There's no DMs. Oh, did you get it? Yeah, I'm on Threads now. How many oh. followers do I have? Oh, dope. So what do you do is, as soon as you get on Threads, which okay. is what I like about it, right? As soon as you like uh, download the app and you sign up, it then says log in with your Instagram account. Mm. So your Instagram handle automatically becomes your Threads handle if you choose to log in and not create a new account. But mm. it's obviously advised that you log in with your Instagram account. Mm. And once you do, it will then migrate or merge rather, because it doesn't get removed from Instagram. Merge your details from Instagram, like your bio, onto the Threads bio. Mm. So my Instagram bio and Threads bio are identical. Dope. Profile picture is identical. Um, the bio is identical. And then the verified badge also gets merged. How many oh. people you got so far? So far, I've got 5,000 followers. Whoa! Oh. Damn, so Yeah, because what it does is it automatically... <laughs> no, it's fine. Hi, man. What, what it does? Why are you laughing, Gosling? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Why are you laughing? <laughs> yes. So the way he screamed, damn, so. Oh. <laughs> it automatically sends requests. You automatically follow the people you're following on Instagram. And those who follow you on Instagram automatically follow you or get requests. Mm. So it's still growing because I can't auto confirm all the friend requests, the, the follow requests. So but, all the so, 5,000 people, you had to say confirm. To all those 5,000 people? Like, I, I saw, like, I, I said maybe 50. Even but I think it automatically does. It's so weird. I can't, it's weird. I'm like, why? Because I chose, I didn't choose a private profile. Yeah. It, it's a public profile, so it shouldn't be follow requests. Uh, but I think these are just maybe some of the teething problems about the app. It's, mm. uh, that part is confusing. But generally, the app is literally like Twitter. Mm. where, But the difference is you can... Even on Twitter, you can now. But here, you can tweet and add on to the tweet later as a thread. You can do it on Twitter as well. Uh, but it's text-based. You can post uh, images. You can tag images. You can't post GIFs, GIFs. Mm. Those are moving picture videos. Uh, but yeah, that's that's essentially it. Unless I, I missed something else. But And I heard it. you can't, uh, if you cancel, then it deletes your Instagram as well. Yeah, I heard that Apro as well. Is that true? That is weird. I don't know. Please yeah, yeah, check with us, fact checker. Yeah, it is. So if you delete it now, it deletes your Instagram. So Yo. you can... Ha, ah, Mark Zuckerberg is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark, fuck Mark Zuckerberg. He's a dick. Why, 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 why? They're independent of each other. Yeah, they're owned by the same company, but I get onto Instagram for different reasons than this. So why then... Especially when this followed Instagram. I get if I delete my Instagram, because everything that's on here... Because you're captured. He doesn't want you to leave, dog. Threads. You're captured. He doesn't want you to leave. No, nah, it's fine, though. I'll... Did you get it, ghost lady? Threads. Mm. No, I have not. The thing is, I like to just check out uh, like these new apps before I get onto them. Like, I'm uh, pretty satisfied with just having Instagram. Because what's sold about this app is that it's exactly like Twitter. So I'm not a... Uh, I barely just go there. And yeah, they have their reasons, but... Ah, now I want to get paid, man. Until they start paying people, fuck it, you can miss me, man. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, those are not paying you. Yeah, that's why I don't post much. Okay. Oh, so you want to be an influencer and get paid for yes. posting? Yeah, if I got paid to tweet, oh, fuck, I tweet every day. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Fed check. Uh, why do you guys sound shocked by that? <laughs> no, you're not shocked, it's, but it's you. You've never been... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not a social media person. Nah. Like, Mac, is, Mac wouldn't have social media if it wasn't for the Do you even you handle guys. your own pages? No, 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 no. Oh. Sean does. Who's Sean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sean Pages. Drop the fucking Yeah, but Nick is not a, 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 a thingy person. He's not like social media person. Yeah, taker. So it makes sense. Um, to answer to what Mike did, I'm um, just said yes, it's true, and vice versa. If you are to deactivate your Instagram account, your Threads account will be deactivated, and if you are to deactivate your Threads account, your Instagram account will be deactivated. Is it vice versa or vice versa? Fact check it. 
six no nine, but I'll find What do you think? Because uh, you've got threads, ne? Yes, I do. What did you think of it? At first, I found it weird because there is interaction, but it's still a bit quiet. So there's not much being done on it. But yeah, it, it seems like a nicer version of Twitter, I guess. People are not rude. There's no situations of trends. There's you no Mjolo yes. with Azola. There's no Mjolo with Azola. There's no trending topics. What's so that? you don't actually... Oh, there's no trending topics. There's no trending topics. Oh. It's just, and you can't search. Yeah, you can't search. Dope. You can only search for accounts, but not exactly what was tweeted or hashtagged Ooh. per se. So there are no people going to be paying to push promo. Yeah. Mm. All right, which is nice. Because half the time you shit trends, you see, you try to see what's trending. MacG's trending. Daily bread, and then you get there. It's people posting their painting shops and <laughs> their quarter stands at Paraguana Hospital and all these things. That's like, fuck yeah. Hell. What is exa- why is he trending exactly? And you never find out. Uh, let's see some of the celebrities on threads. Uh, Focalistic Fit Checker sent me these. Focalistic. What what is it? Is he tweeted or he threaded now? What do you? He threaded boy. He threaded. He threaded oh, yeah, boy. You don't tweet there. Yeah, he, he threaded, threaded boy. Who totoba, who pala, who shiana, mfana wa hapeleza. Uska hashtag kekeleza. Oh, that's him. Oh, that's him posting. Yeah, that's him posting. I thought you were speaking Zulu. No, no it's him. Then it, then it wasn't even Zulu oh. anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the resident Zulu. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, you sound like that when you speak Zulu. Yeah, so he's got 10 replies, <laughs> 218 likes. Okay. Uncle Vinny said, this is actually Elon Musk's karma. He forgot about us. Now we are here. Prince KB. So what Junior Cosa said, keep it drama free on threads. And then Prince KB replied, said, Lord, I pray. Ah, we hey, were thinking. Man, the KB trolls are coming. He's having a nice time on Twitter. Is it? Yeah, they all are just... And he said, Prince KB bothers no one. And they all are just starting with him. Yeah. Always. Now that they posted his wife, someone was like, you know, um, Prince KB... Find a girl with inner beauty, and then they like same Prince KB. They posted an image of his wife, or they saying his album is whatever, whatever, whatever. And and it's nice because he doesn't give a fuck. Really. Mm. You know, he's living his life, best life, mm. multiple businesses, investments. He's good, but he, people don't give him a break there. It's so fucked up, and he's the one chilled ass public figure. Tyler, I see you said we're happy this side. I'm sure he's happy, man. Ah, with him, nigga. Oh. Ah, and the success of the oh, nigga. He's happy, happy every side. Oh, he's, uh, he's happy every side. He mustn't <laughs> he's lie. Happy every he mustn't side. lie. He's happy every side. <laughs> Anela Zondo said, as a fashion queen or king, I think it's only right to be on threads. Oh, I get it. Because yeah. of too. Yeah. What did fashion. you post? What did you say? Ah, uh, I said, please, guys, no more with Azola here. <laughs> Then I said, it's peaceful Wait, here. Who's Um Chola no Azolo Bahani? Ah, man. It's like a dating thing. When you're looking for, uh, 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 you see, like when you're looking for someone, a partner, mm-hmm. then you're going to post your profile, that your, your oh, picture. Oh, it's a dating app. No kids. Like, like let's say you're single. You're like, post your picture. Like, no kids. I drive an AMG. Um... I live in Centurion, I'm 35, and I'm a CA, looking for someone who's young, who's got stamina, who can go the whole night, and then you post, That's and you hashtag Mjolo with Azola. Oh. It's a guy Azola who started that. So it's like, date my family on Twitter? Not the family, but just the oh, one person. Yes, yeah, yeah. it's like the it's like the dating classifieds. You remember classified yeah, hands yes, yes. and the ones looking for men, <laughs> yes. women. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like the online dating classifieds. Oh, I remember. You know, nice. to put yourself out there. And then I said, it's peaceful here. Yeah, you can feel the breeze and hear the birds tweeting. The irony. <laughs> <laughs> And then I said, drop this. <laughs> but it was chirpy, chirpy, that side. <laughs> yes. Yeah, then they chirp you, that side. Yeah. Twitter's gonna fucking chirp you. And then I said, blue tick still means something here. Yeah. 
catfish with my blue ticks, the pits. <laughs> Which is true. Twitter now has got catfish with blue ticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, before on Twitter, when you get a blue tick, you're like, who the fuck is this? Maybe someone of prominence or someone publicly known. Yeah. Right? But now it's like any time they get hairy, it's blue ticks, blue ticks. Oh. Catfish has blue ticks. Zero followers have got a blue tick. It's, wow. Elon is driving it to the ground. And then I was like threading carefully out here. Then I posted a picture from the team building. Oh, threading I was, carefully. I was yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll post it there, that one. Yeah. Um, I saw a tweet the other day. It's so funny, man. Someone tweeted, uh, a woman is someone who eats your money and then she gives birth to her best friends that will also eat your money. <laughs> True. That's true. Well, you can <laughs> always intervene and become the best friend as well. But that's very true. That's super true. Uh, how so? How can you intervene? Well, you can be a kid's best friend too. They'll still eat your money, but you, you can still be a best friend and get involved too. Uh, as opposed to just impregnating her and just providing the money back home. Hey, my man, you just killed the punch of that tweet, man. For real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that truth does that a lot. <laughs> that, that truth generally kills a punch. <laughs> that truth... The truth kills a punch in a lot of things, man. <laughs> what was the tweet? It's, it's, it's a that, smart, it's that a... Suga sold an off ramp. What was the tweet again? The tweet says, a woman is someone who will eat your money. Then give birth to her best friends that will also eat, eat your, your money. money. I know. That's what okay. the tweet said. Okay. I'm aware. I'm here. I'm like, oh. yes, it is. But you can also be the best friend to the kid. The symbol. Yeah. <laughs> They'll all eat your money. It's a profound tweet. It's funny. It's, I get it. Like, you know what I mean? But... You can also be a best friend and participate. <laughs> Most guys don't participate. They just want to provide, you know, and not be there. And be de- how many kids have rich uh, uh, dads that are detached from, but they're in the same house every day? Mm. So, yeah, but it's a funny tweet, though. Yeah. Don't get it wrong. It's a very funny tweet. But did you see Elon Musk is pissed as fuck, eh? Yeah. Uh, fuck Elon Musk, man. Mm. He fucked up Twitter. He, he did. Up. He opened the gap for threads to exist. Now you, there's limits. How many tweets you can view a day? Six hundred. There's a paywall, yeah. Unless you pay. When you pay, you get the badge. But guess what? When the badge means nothing, no one wants the badge, mm. right? Well, the verified badge used to mean something, and hence people wanted it because it means something. Now, when you see someone with a badge in your comments, you know, okay, maybe it's someone. You know what I mean? Or it's yeah. a user or something. But he killed it. He he's killing the fun. You know. Yes, he's allowed people, the hate is even more now, The you know, but he's killing it. And normally, social media networks that... But eclipse, are there people, sorry, so, are there people who actually find good in what Elon is doing? Yeah, yeah, the people... So uh, what's the positive voice? Is it, is it maybe people who feel like now it's everyone is at equal level? Is that maybe... Maybe, maybe, but it's it's one of those when everybody's at... And this is just the 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 the, uh, the truth of the world. If everyone is at equal level, it doesn't become. There's no value in that anymore. It's like if everyone was rich on Earth, then the it's like if everyone is a millionaire, then the value of the money is less, or a billionaire, then the value is less. But also, you'd find people so as much as yes, that may be a negative. But the other people feel like. As long as we're all equal. But it's not about just Even the Even though whether it's value, it just means we get equal opportunity. We go to the same shop, get the same things, and therefore it's... True. But also, the thing is, normally, né? and to me it's not about like exclusivity of a badge. I don't have a badge on Twitter, and I never applied for one, never wanted one to begin with, right? But it, 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 it takes away from... You know, sometimes there's that... So I can create a page now and say I'm News24 mm-hmm. and apply for a badge, pay whatever the amount is. And then it takes away from me when I'm looking for, okay, not that News24 sometimes has credible stuff they put out. You know, there's a bit of an agenda. But you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, who's this? Then I don't know what to trust, what not to trust. And also, there's a all. Uh, it's not just about the badge. There's all sorts of things that he has changed, you know what I mean, regarding the freedom of, of speech and and people saying hateful stuff, you know, and still allowed to get away with it, which is generally what a lot of people have against Twitter, that it's people will just bully people. And, and, and what do you think about Mark Zuckerberg? He's just a business person. Mm. 
you know, taking advantage of the gap. Like I said, people still love Twitter, but they 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 they, they miss the the peace that Twitter used to have. You know, because let's be honest, Twitter is going. It's it's the pits, man. You know, like you have to be strong there. You will say something and unprovoked and you need to just be strong, you know, and be able to. I think to Mark is a scam, bro. I think it's a scam, dog. Yeah. I don't respect him, dog. Mm -hmm. What has he started, bro? Everything he just cuts and pastes. He just copies people. That's true. Well, Facebook is stolen from those twins, right? From the twins, right? Mm. And then Instagram, the, the stories he, he stole from, from Snapchat. Because yeah. they didn't want to sell to him. That's true. And then uh, Reels is TikTok, basically. No, no, he stole Reels from TikTok, yes. Yes. Yes, yes Reels is TikTok, literally. And then now this thread is Twitter. It's Twitter. Like, what has he started Twitter. himself? Threads, like... Yes. But doesn't that he show hasn't. that he's clever? No. No, no. He is clever. No, no. no there's two yeah. different. No. He's not innovative. No, no, no. Wait. He's not innovative to start something it afresh, but he's clever to add on to and acquire the right exactly. companies. Like acquiring WhatsApp. I don't know how he's making money from that, but it was a smart move. It's WhatsApp. You're powerful. You've got the data of all these people and the numbers and names of all these people. Solomzi, Mac, Ka, uh, Kanye, um, Sherimbi, and everybody else, right? But he's, he's smart. He may not be... I don't respect that, man. Yeah, because you're a creative. Because mm. you're a creative, you start things, you're an entrepreneur. Like, you know, a proper entrepreneur. Okay, you not an entrepreneur, I'm a creative, but not an entrepreneur. <laughs> well, you're making money from this. I mean, come on, you're the richest podcast ah, in the country, fuck you, man. man. <laughs> you're the richest podcaster in the country, man. Come on. You're a I mean. podcast entrepreneur. <laughs> you're the richest podcaster in the country, man, you know? You started a late, and people have tried to do this before. Gareth Cliff, a lot of people have tried to do this podcasting thing before. On that Mark Zuckerberg so, issue, yeah. I'm... Going to um, you said he he also gave an opportunity because remember those people that he poached from Twitter were the guys who got um, fired. Yeah, fired yeah, yeah, by, by Elon. Yeah. But but so but, he but took Mita, those. Mita says they didn't hire anyone who's fired from Twitter. Well, he's, oh, he's, okay. yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's there's him. a lawsuit. Eh? Elon is trying to sue uh, Meta. Yes, that, but Meta, uh, Mark Zuckerberg's company, yeah. are saying they didn't hire anyone from Twitter. Yeah, what are you saying? Oh, you wanted to say that. Yes, I wanted to correct Ghosty with oh. the whole um, fired employees. Apparently, that is false. No, no, no. To he did fire them. Yeah, they were fired. People yes, went they were to work fired. the one day their fingers went working at the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not speaking about you the fired incident. Biometrics. No, no, they are biometrics. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I did. I didn't finish metric. <laughs> <laughs> so, biometric. <laughs> I bought my metric somewhere. Wow. I'm not speaking in terms of them being fired. I'm speaking in terms of them being hired Post. by Meta. Yes. Oh. Apparently, that is false, according yes. to Meta. Yes, yes. Hey, I'm not Apparently, yo, bro. Meta, so, like, so there's a crazy thing happening, no man. No one can argue with uh, Remember Eva? Um, when we were in Dubai, we met Eva. Eva, the colored lady. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah, she looks colored. The beautiful lady. Yes, oh, yes. Eva. So apparently, uh, what's happening in the piano scene, because, oh, let me give context to the chillers. Eva is a promoter. She's based in Dubai, and she basically books all the piano artists for, like, international gigs. Yes, I, re I um, remember her. Yeah, so she yes. just did a tour now for, who are these, the Snow Bunnies? What are they called? Um, Mac G and that guy. Yeah, what are they called? Two bunnies. Two bunnies. Two bunnies. Yes. Two bunnies. Yes. Two bunnies. She's doing one now with Justin and PC, those guys, right? Yeah. So she says, apparently, there's people here in SA that are gatekeeping a number. Is it? No, wait. Who? who who's gatekeeping her, her number? She didn't tell me who. Why? So she's gatekeeping the people gatekeeping the number. No. She could have just told you the number. Let's call her. Let's call her. Yeah, why is she gatekeeping the gatekeepers of a number? So her number. She's gatekeeping the gatekeepers of a number. So basically, like, let's say uh, Eva books us to Dubai. Mm -hmm. ne? So she books she books Saul to Dubai. Ne? And then Saul comes back. I'm like, yo, dog, Dubai, how did you get the gig? And then he's like, no. Ah, you must know people. Yeah. <laughs> and I can read Arabic. So that helps me. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. And doesn't give me the number. Do you get it? Oh, okay. Do you get it? Yeah. Mm. You're not getting it, ne? Mm -mm. <laughs> so please explain. 
Okay, for the sake of the sure for the sake playing. of the she chillers, I understand. Move on. <laughs> no, Maybe but okay. why don't you get about that? I'm a full person and I'm by and pass the opportunities to other artists so that they can get booked or they can highlight her at her and organize a booking so, to happen. So you mean a person who has her number and has already been booked to that site comes back, does not want to shake. Yeah, yeah. Uti, he had to oh. drop a business plan to get booked and send it to some other Arabs and stuff. Oh, give me an amount. Yes, meanwhile, it's just a girl mm. who just booked uh, Eva. Yeah. Yo, 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 Eva! Eva! <laughs> hey, what's happening, Matt G? Good, man. You're live on the oh, podcast. Soul Penduka's here. Ghost Ladies here. Wagwan, Wagwan, Eva. Hey, yes. Hey, Eva. Hey, 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 hey. What's happening? <laughs> man, I'm trying to explain how crazy this gatekeeping is, man. Please just uh, uh, break it down to us. What's going on, man? Ah, it's crazy. I'm telling you, South Africa, it's a wild, wild west out there, hey? No, it's, it's, it's mad. I've been, I've been hearing a lot that a lot of people are trying to gatekeep my number. And it's so unfortunate because there's so much great talent out there in South Africa that and it, that it can be going internationally. So, yeah, that, that's the situation right now. Eva, Eva, um, <laughs> Eva Apperman. <laughs> so who are these people? Or are you also going to gatekeep the gatekeepers of your number? Who, who's yeah, been gatekeeping you your know, number? You know, I can't say. <laughs> no, but I don't even know myself. I just don't know. Like, um... I mean, so as soon as they get in touch with me, some of the artists, they're like, you know, they won't tell me who it is. They're like, they've got, it's taken them like maybe a year or six months Whoa. to search and find out like who, where, where they can get my number. No, man, fuck so, all that, man. It stops today, man. So where can people get a hold of you? Uh, where, where, where can people get in touch with they you? Can, they can reach out to me on my Instagram. Um, I'm quite active on my DM. So they just need to go to Eva DXB. As you'll, be, you'll see it as Eva Boss DXB. We'll Eva it, DXP, we'll yeah, yeah, man. And then are you looking for like upcoming, because we've got so many artists in there, so are you looking yeah. for upcoming uh, piano artists or established ones? 100%, everything, everything. Um, upcoming, established, whatever it is. Look, we get we get so much opportunities worldwide. And, and you see like I'm touring most of the time. So um, they're always looking for new upcoming people or yes. any, whatever it is, like they want to push the movement. And I'm a piano is going crazy right now internationally. Yeah, please tell the crew the 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 gig you got us for next year. I'm so excited. Oh. Uh, am I allowed to say? Yeah, yeah come on, say. Eva, come with it, come with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna be a festival, a huge festival, twenty five thousand capacity in Australia. Yeah, oh, we're going oh, to Australia. We're going down under. Yeah. <laughs> you're going international, guys. You're going international. <laughs> Shout out to you, Eva. Yeah, man. We'll put out your DMs. Fuck this shit, man. We ain't gatekeeping for nobody. Stop today, man. We don't gatekeep. Yeah, what 100%. is that? Hey, everyone needs to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Yeah, exactly. Like, they, need to, they need to share. <laughs> I hear you in Bali this week. I'm so jealous. No, so this week, no, so I'm meant to be, so we've got the Mayweather event in Joburg. I am meant to come to that, but it's too close to my Mayweather. tour in Australia. So we've got, we've got, peak, yeah, May, the Mayweather Gala dinner. That's yeah, he's, he's coming to the country, yeah. 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 And then um, I'm off to Australia. I'm doing a tour with PC and Justin 99. And then we'll be off to Bali with Devin Gogo. Mm-hmm. Nice one. Eva, Shout let's out. rock, man. Let's rock. Shout out to you. And then it's Afro Nation. Afro Nation is going to be a dope one, Troy, and then we're off to Tanzania. It's going to be good. Fantastic. And what I love about you, as uh, apart from like, you know, w- what I like about her um, is that she actually lived in SA. So she knows the culture. Yeah. She knows the vibe. Yeah, you can, t- you can sense when you... Yeah, I, I definitely experienced the uh, SA lifestyle. It's uh, pretty crazy. All right, cool, man. Shout out to Eva. Shout out, Eva. Thanks, Eva. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you guys soon. Can't Bye. wait. Take care, man. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy is that, bro? That's crazy, man. The pie is so big. Why do you want to gatekeep international gigs, bro? <sighs> Fuckers. You see, it's the, and that's the problem. The, these are the problematic black people. The black people where they are the only black person in a room full of white people, and they want to fucking keep it that way. Mm. But the Indians are not like that. The Jews are not like that. The white people are not like that. When... 
there's one white person in a room or a Jewish person or an Indian person. Guess what? After a year or two, there'll be three. Yeah. After 10 years, there'll be 10. After 12 years, it's all going to be Indians. They put one another in. And the black people, you want to be the exclusive black person mm. in that fucking neighborhood. No, that's fucked in that up, room. man. And it takes a, a, a girl from the UK to say, hey, guys, what are you doing? Let's open up the industry. It is squeezing in. Ah, small shy. Yeah, let's ah, let's black people. Bro. Do, you, do you know, like, all the... Jesus, do you know how many artists... Artists, how many DJs there are in SA that are doing piano, right? Yep. If they were to get all booked every weekend, Imagine. we still wouldn't finish the world. Do you know how big the world is? Yeah. world is huge. And I mean, yeah. look, at, look at the Africa guys that are doing it lovely. You know, there's still maybe possibly some gatekeeping there, whoever's within that. But that's an example of there's just so much out there to consume. No one can ever own it and it won't finish. Nah, that's fucked up, man. No. Yeah. Nah, I don't like that, bro. Bro, we need to get to a point where you get to a lot of time every weekend. You just sing piano artists. In and out. In, in and out. out. That's it. In and out. Rocking, that's man. It. It's our time. I mean, look what uh, Gubs is doing with Drake, bro. Oh, hey! shut up, Gubs! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> nah, not too loud. Hey! <laughs> and it's funny in Durban at three o'clock in the morning, my inbox comes up. Oh, for real? Yeah, my drunk self. <laughs> I think that song caught me by the break. <laughs> that song caught me by the break. Oh, how comes, 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 uh, oh, I met Kelvin Momo also. At oh, the, wow. Uh, everybody, Momo at the um, Disofeng uh, uh, Marquis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Was he there? Fucking Momo, yes. Oh, shit, I didn't see him. Yeah, I met Kelvin Momo, bro. Oh, I didn't, I didn't go so to the Disofeng one. No, I didn't go to the Oh, what a fucking blessing. Yeah. So there it is. Um, Sunday, 3.38. I'm like, bro. You <laughs> is this when Smooda's going, son, why not? Ah, we're coming back now. We're coming <laughs> back from that gig. So, you know, I'm like, bro, you deserve every good thing coming to you, right? And then he responds with the, with oh, the crying faces. Wow. But in the morning, I'm like, oh, can't I TM Kabza? Let me see. <laughs> there was a typo. I've just posted here. Né? Uh, <laughs> I said, bro, you deserve every good thug coming to you. <laughs> Read it. I'm like, bro, you deserve every good thing coming to you. <laughs> Shit, typo, I meant thing. I'm, I'm like, but then he got it. He yeah, got it, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, then I'm like, fuck, typo, I meant thing. <laughs> and then a week later, ah, oh, oh, boy. Wow. Oh, shut up, bro. Like, he deserves it. And, but but I, I actually and, hope, like, he's not just opening for, for Drake, but like, Drake co signs him, you know, like, brings him on stage. And, you know, maybe they even do tracks together. Or uh, yeah, together. maybe no, he won't bring him on stage. Maybe, maybe he will. But it, definitely a track together. That lives forever, yeah. longer. Because I opened for Eminem once. And it's weird, hey, when you open for these guys, man. Which Eminem? <laughs> Eminem. <laughs> Mukwebo and MacGyver. M Eminem. <laughs> or Eminem as in Marshall Mathers. Marshall Mathers. <laughs> Where did you open for Eminem? When you came to the country. You opened. For yes. Oh, you were at 947. Yes. Ah, but that's DJ is not opening, man. If if you like performing there on stage. Bro, I was the last act before he came on stage. What do you mean? Is that not opening? Oh, for real? Yes. yes. Oh. Hey, Omu, come on. Hey, you know, it's like you just, you just yeah. respect I, him. I, I got videos. I'll even I'll, I'll check for the videos yeah. in my hard drive. No, bro. Yeah, it was a, a 947 was a media partner, and then Anele was the MC. I was the DJ. Damn! Yeah. Did you meet him? No, that's what I'm saying. What I hope that doesn't happen because... Uh, oh, they don't I, I treat you with the, the respect you deserve. Thank you very much. Because I was excited. Like, I'm a Slim Shady fan fucking since he started, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh shit, I'm opening up for this guy. I was hoping to at least just meet him, say hi, yeah. take a picture. Yeah. But yeah, while I was playing and he was coming, as soon as he lands in the stadium, everybody must move from the stage. But the, the international actor like that, we've, we've heard before. So I never got, to, I never got to, to meet him. Them yeah. yeah, They are here, you are here. And mm. they make sure you know. But I think because Drake tweeted and and tagged Cubs, I think there must be more than just. Nah, there'll be more because remember Drake is going da dancey now. Yeah. And he did the last album with Black Coffee, like a, a very big chunk of it was. And how Black crazy Coffee. were we saying? Imagine those vocals on uh, Cubs' beats. Remember? Yes, yes. You see, so I think possibly I'd let, let's call Black Coffee if you have a thing to do with it. Ah, no, maybe he did get the now, my boy. Aye. 
You don't want so, to give him the flowers. No, my man. You see, when you have a number like Black Coffee, you can't just use it. You must call when you really need it. Oh, so oh, you don't want to do this call. No, but right. maybe he... he, he, he first like Elon Musk, I'm going to call him when I need him. Yeah. Right now, I don't need him, but one day... Oh, oh timing. The timing. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> you can't just call Black Coffee like, yo, man. But you're live easy. on the podcast. But it's easy to make the connection because Black Coffee, Drake's friend, they did an album together. And it, uh, we don't know, maybe in Ibiza it did well, but this side it really didn't because we are all my piano. Yeah. So maybe he was like, actually, next time, go this approach. Here's this kid. He's the king of my piano. So, sorry, is Drake going to be featuring um, Ukabza as a producer only, like behind the scenes, or is it also that he's going to be playing for him? So Kabza's on the tour. Yes. We don't know what's going to happen on the tour. I don't know what it means to be a, a part of the production A producer. Team. It's yeah. a producer. So that was the artist. They said that, that, yeah. Yes. He's confirmed as a producer. Means. So he's But we'll see. But it's, it's, it's a step company. in the right yeah. direction because okay. from there, I'm sure a track will come out, bro. Definitely. 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 And it's funny because it came after a weekend where this one guy was like, ah, Kamza must be international now. Look, he's got 10, uh, the 20, 30, Devin July bookings. He, he's not charging enough. That's why he's got all these bookings. Who said that? All these other, a random person on Twitter. You see the problem with Twitter? That's the fucking problem. A random person on Twitter. I'm like, how? What, 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 like, what have you got? What have you built? And you're giving up the business advice, you know? And, uh, but it's preference. It's like he likes playing. And it's yeah. God's time. Everything happens in its own time. And you don't know what's happening in the war room, in the camp. What are they planning? To, you know what I mean? Like, it's surely God didn't come this far by fluke. And by chance, you know, it's talent meets whoever strategizes for him and, and, and. So just because Major League is big, all these people are touring big time. And because everybody's at Afro Nation, how much are they getting paid at Afro Nation? Some of these people go to Europe, and let's be honest, some of these people go to Europe and they get paid 15,000 rands in pounds or in, in euros. So if I was going to take 20, 30 gigs and it's getting his full amount to the third in July, that's a wise and better business decision. Everything, yeah, like, everything else is for the gram. Remember when we went to the UK, they rocked us, eh? Yes, precisely. <laughs> speak from experience. Ooh. You know what I mean? A lot of these people, when they start off in Europe, you're not going to get paid. If you, <laughs> they if, rocked you, us, eh? if you charge 40k here in South Africa. No, wait. You're not going to get paid 40k that side on your first time gig. You guys no, tell us, okay, we're on story Don't time. tell them, I need to pee. <laughs> <laughs> story time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm yeah. saying, what happened? <laughs> what happened in the UK? Not that there's a story time. No, in the UK, remember, they approached us. They're like, yo, listen, we want to do a podcast in the UK. So we're like, oh, fuck yeah, man. Let's rock, man. It's the UK. We've never done a podcast there. So how they structured the deal was that they would cover um, all our expenses, right? Yeah. Um visas, accommodation, um, flights, oh. X, X, Y, Z, boom, 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 mm -hmm. right? But that money is coming from the money they made from the event. Oh. So when, when after the event, they're like, we made X amount. We're like, oh, cool, that looks dope. Nice. And then they're like, and then we had to take flights out. <laughs> <laughs> then we had to take accommodation. Then we had to take X, Y, Z. Oh. So we, we ended up with nothing. Oh. Yeah. Remember, so we ended up with nothing. Ah, it was a holiday, man. <laughs> it was a holiday, man. At least now it's you whatever. know. Charge yeah. separately. <laughs> so yeah, people mustn't see people, and actually more, but people mustn't see, sometimes you want to go out of your comfort zone, build your brand in Europe. And what that would mean is take a knock. Black Coffee spoke about that. Yeah, he used to actually spend his own money to play that side, like when he started. Yeah, and there's yeah, value yeah. in that. Yeah. You know, there's value in traveling to Europe, etc. But if you're a Kabza and it's Durban July weekend, there's Afro Nation there and the money maybe they offer it doesn't make sense as opposed to every marquee saying we'll pay you 50K, 60K or whatever mm -hmm. he charges. Come on, do the maths, you know? So people must be easy on giving people business advice, especially people who are doing well on their own trajectory. And yeah. some people rise quicker, some takes, it's more gradual. You know, it's, it's different paths, different journeys. What's going on with my Mapurisa and TP? Hey. Yeah. So apparently he took back all the, you know, he's going to go collect all his stuff from uh, the, from Tuli. Again. Well, obviously, remember, they had the whole charges and then she dropped them. Oh, they but dropped a, a, a combined statement, but I guess so. Oh, okay. I cool. guess so. Nice. And Shout out to Mapurisa. Because it's alleged that actually Tuli might also be take like, be bring back the charges. Hey. Uh, yeah, and what's the serious? Politics. Why? Because they broke up. And because she lost everything that she took back. Why is Dudu saying? 
Yeah, do 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 our producer say? Cut it, cut it, cut it. You need to cut it. She wrote. You you wrote. What did you write here, Tutu? Yeah, please read what she wrote. Oh, I, I, I'm ah, not she, what she wrote. Oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we'll have a food. We'll have a food. Yeah, we'll have a food. We'll have a food. Wait, so it's alleged. I'm not... It's and then Google was like, <laughs> like, read what I wrote. That's not what I wrote. Read what I wrote. <laughs> hey, can you? That's kind. I'll read it here. It says it's Kanye. it's also alert alleged that that Tuli might not drop charges against Maporisa, right? The three back are back in court, appearing in the Randberg courts, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so from what I've read on um, this article, it's um, Tuli Pongole did not drop the charges. Um, so Maporisa was out on bail for 4000 So the car being repossessed is him sending his friend to go and get back his positions because according to the bail um, regulations, he is not supposed to be anywhere close to Tuli So you want to go back his car? Yes, Which he is went, his asset. He had but borrowed her or she he, was using. He sent his friend. So the source yes. that leaked the information is a supposedly the friend that was sent to go and fetch the the cars, the two cars, which was a Porsche and a G Wagon. Mm. And he's still on bail. Yeah. So wait, so when 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 they released when they released the statement, hey. he was out on bail. Yes. Yes, he was out on bail for four thousand. I mean, he kept. But they released a statement. No, they, they were never dropped. But they released a statement together. Um, remember that that statement was released by their lawyers, both of the lawyers. So you can even find that they were not there when the statement was written. Mm -hmm. They just posted the statement. So this thing is still ongoing. Yes, it's an ongoing case. Po it's just Ooh. on pause. For has every right to take back his car, guys. I mean, ha. Huh? It's a car, like, I mean, Porsche, G-Wagon, already is Kulma up millions worth of, 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 of assets. I mean, that's millions, right? It's yeah, but why give it to her in the first place? She didn't give it. She was using it. It was still in her name, in his name. How do you name. know? Were you there? Because it's not in her name. I know because it's not in her name. If I give you a car, I'll change it into your name, Mac. Simple. If I, but if I give you a car and I'm like, you can use it, I'm not giving it to you. It's still in my name. If it was in her name then she'll keep it. And she legally should have the right to keep it. The fact that legally she doesn't have the right to keep it, it's still his car. Uh, how no. many cars you got, Ghost Lady? You uh, four. Two. Uh, no, it's the, you got four. Uh, and three. From, from, uh, from the four, which, how many are in your name? <laughs> By marriage, technically yeah, they are. Technically if they, are you married in, com in community? Property. Then everything is in her name. <laughs> are you watching, Nanelli? <laughs> this is how you do it. All of them, she's married. <laughs> Tuli and, Tuli and Pori are not married. I both Mac. What are, you, what are you saying, Mac? Are you saying Tuli must keep the cars? Yeah, why, why, why buy someone? He didn't buy her. And if he did, it would be in her name. Just to... Um sorted out he gifted her those yeah. cars however you can find that he bought them with his name then yeah. he didn't give he, she, yeah. but, she's the driver of the car <laughs> the owner is him yes so he borrowed her the cars until they break up all these girls this happens London London didn't it happen as well all these girls they, they, they buy these cars put all these ribbons and they but that's fucked up though bro. the man says I bought you a car if the man says I bought you a townhouse and the title D let's say he bought it cash and is, is, is in his name you're just a rent-free tenant. So if your woman buys you a phone and then you guys break up and she says she wants the phone back, does that... That generally happens, Mac. Does that feel right by you? A that... Yeah. Ah, come on, guys. So what was the point? Okay. If you live with your woman and then you break up, right, and so she must still stay with you. No, 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 I'm going to move out. And still pay the rent. Yeah. And and still pay the rent. Yeah. yeah. I need to. She's my baby mama. She's got the kids. Yes. I need to. 
We must take Oh, that's free. different. That's Max, different. That's a responsible that's thing oh, to that, say. Okay, fair. But a that's lot of different. people, when they are angry. They don't have kids, Puri. There's no kids to take to school with the poor. Oh, are you talking ready. about we just, we just vibing? Yes. Oh, no. Fuck her, bro. Once it's over, it's over. Uh, so but I'm not gonna, was party, no, he but I'm not going to say bring back the iPad I bought you. Bring back the No, iPhone. those are minor things, bruh. We're talking about million rands worth of assets. A Porsche. A G- Bro, you know, you know what they say. You know what they say with a gun. You know what they say with a gun, right? If you pull out a gun, you better be ready to shoot it. So yeah. if you give someone, you better be ready to lose that thing. Uh, Yo. Yeah, dog. But, my man. Then why are you gifting? Then you, then you, you didn't just give it to her if it's in, in his name. I wish people understood that's like that. A technical, <laughs> that's a technical thing, dog. The, you're getting technical. That's ownership. That's ownership. It is in the technical form. Technical ownership. In the te- huh? yeah, no, what, you, what Mac is saying? That's ownership. But that's ownership. No, bro. Okay, bro. Me and you are friends. Yeah, we're friends. I've given... Like, yeah, here's a good example. Here's a good example. Lane has left the podcast. You're still using his laptop. He He's. gave it to you. Yes. He didn't yes. take it back. But, well, Tuli is still got the T-shirt. <laughs> she still has the T-shirt. Yeah. I mean, I maintain, because a car. Yeah. A car. Aye, dog. But who's yeah. still paying for the car? Okay, okay, okay. Pori then must say, take over the car installments, Tuli. Take over the 20,000 rand G-Wagon car installment, 30,000 rand Porsche installment. Oh, my, so you're saying you must take over because chances are those cars are still uh, 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 technically owned by the bank. So Pori must still pay for an installment of a car that's not driven by his exactly. woman because he's separated from her? What I'm saying is that if you know you're not capable of doing that, then don't do it at all. But so remember, what you're uh, explaining, uh, no, wait, like, wait. Okay, what is the point of gifting her the car? Mac, Mac. This, the relationship, if they were just if not If it's vibing. on condition, we stay together. Uh, were we there when he said... I'm giving you this car. Or you said, I bought a car, you can drive it. She said gifting. And then she posted on Instagram she said as gifting. her own. They all do that. They post as their own. Then we find out later back that they're later. back to driving it as uh, you do you, you, um, You're going to say something there? No, I actually, I, w- I wanted to ask a question in terms of gifting a car. That, that part always like confuses me. Yes. So if you give me a car, are you supposed to put it in my name and I pay... pay the monthly installments because if not then the car will be in your name and that means you're paying the installments mm. so that is means it not you're a the gift owner because you're so you're the owner but if, have you gifted me then he oh. who pays the installment is the owner guys it's so simple. when you give me a car it means it must be in my name and i must pay the installments no but you're gifting. if it's rather pay buy you hear what I'm bro bro it's like this thing is simple yeah. you see mchafa mchafa remember the bends i used to drive the, the, yeah, your grandfather's pen. Yes, I used, it, it was my. It was in my name. Yes, but I gifted it to, to him. I said, "Here, have it." And then the moment I did that, it was his. Oh, I wouldn't know you gave it to him. Yo, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, why were you so heartbroken when he crashed it? Because ah, I've got great memories with that car. Yeah, man. true. Like, fuck, man. Shame, so many, man. So many good memories. But, but see, that's different because it's a paid-off asset. That car was paid off in the 90s, I'm but sure. But you don't know if his cars are not paid off. Niggas buying Hermes is like it's fucking grandeur. What did you buy? Hermes bags. Oh, those, uh, they call them Hermes. Oh, those like, still, uh, Hermes. million rent bags. Yes. yes. Damn. You tell me you can't pay off a fucking G63. Ah, but guys, it's still me. I'm with Pori. I stand with Pori on the give, gifting of things, bro. No, bro. All I'm saying is that if you a are going to go a, down a that lane... A perfume, a dress, No, but so listen to me. Car, all I'm bro. saying is if you're going to go down that lane, you must know what it comes with and you must be ready for what comes. True, I agree with you. Yeah. But we don't know what the terms were. were. These girls, all of them, Someone will say, I bought a car, go pick it up at the dealership. And then they post on Instagram like it's theirs and they'll say, thank you, Swan no, you bought me a car. They're under their but belief that it's theirs. No, 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 you must know the law. The law is simple. You're not paying for it. It's not in your name. If it's paid off, then it's not your car. What have you given your woman? Oh, a lot of things. I've bought, I've bought my woman a lot of things. Like what? Oh, man. Clothing, lots of clothing. Are you gonna want it back? I've given her money, lots of money. Are you gonna want it I've back? G- perfumes. Are you gonna want it back? Shoes, but a nice Are you gonna want it now. back? No, never. That's what I'm saying. God forbid we separate. Never. I'm not gonna want it back. Why wouldn't you want it back? Because it's small stuff. Yeah. But if it's a car. Mm. Ha! What you guys are forgetting in all of this in your What's argument a car, bro? is that 
you're forgetting emotion. Remember at this stage, it, when people break up, it's the emotional thing and trying to hurt one another. So it's that's just where the issues come. Yes, But that doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right, yes. technically. Right. But the responsible thing also goes back to when you are gifted something, then do the right thing of getting it in your name. What can you call police? Ah, ah, no, we're going to no, call no, him no, at the right no, time. No, he, here's let's the thing. Explanation. Here's the thing. We're going to call him one at the thing, right time. One thing this thing could solve is knowing, Uguti, but ba- Tani in that room together, did he say, I've got a G-Wag and I've got a thing, you can drive them, keep them, right? Or, Ute Nyagupa, Nai G-Wag on, Nai Posh Nyagupa. Yeah, we don't right. know all of we that. Don't know. Her posting does not mean upiwe. Her posting, collecting the car or driving the car every day, it's in her yard every day, does not confirm whether she was giving that thing. So, me, I'm right to assume that she never owned it if Pori has the right legally to repossess it. Let's do a poll. Let's it's like a the car. Cameras. If the bank repossesses your car, it means, guess what? You didn't finish paying it off. Yeah. Legally, you had no right to own it to begin with. Okay, let me do a poll. Please remind me to read the results. But I always also, forget, eh? At the end of the show, I always forget. Cool. Let's do a text poll. What am I going to... What's the question? Is it okay... Producer, help us with the question, Is it please. okay... Okay, if you buy your partner, if you buy your partner... He, not a gift, a car. He's, he's oh. stressed about Yeah, it looks to be a car. If yeah. you buy your partner a car... Is it okay to repossess it once you've broken up? Is it... Okay to, to ask for it back. Repossess. No, no, no I, I'll clearly you're taking it okay. back. And repossessing. How do you spell repossess? R E P O. It'll it'll auto correct you, man. I think. Repossess. Yeah, repossess. Bad spelling. Uh, repossess. And then after that, I don't read it. If you buy your partner a car, is it okay to repossess it? After. After, after you break up. up. Yeah. After you break up. Okay, cool. You see, we can call Teko Mudise. Yes, what? let's call him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I bumped into him at the airport coming back from Devon July. Yeah. Oh. In fact, he was at that club where the, it was messy. At, um, Wherever you go, I go. You go, you go. Yes. <laughs> I bumped into Teko at the airport coming back. Let's call Teko. How? Guys. Hey, boo. Aksha to hang on, Jay. Some community of property. What's cool. more? The thing so, is, so, 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 also, so, you don't know tengeli. the things that people do. And remember, you're just not talking about this was just vibes. These are relationships. Maybe these people have been together for two years, three years. Already by the, the, the just the how you guys are living, you think that what's yours is yours, is, is ours. Whereas when the breakup happens, that's when you see now. Because remember, the attachment has separated. And that's what marriage is for. Yes. To determine those kind of things. And um, to protect you um, from there's no legal thing in the country. But I know if there's no legal provisions that allow for things to be automatically uh, 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 combined. And the meaning everything of porous is of porous. It's called cyan. Down to the pencil. Yeah, of course. Cyan bougie, ne? Why? Why not? Cyan. I would. I'd like to know if she'd take her shit back. She would. She would, no? Yeah, we're already... We know. Let's talk to her. Let's talk to Cyan. I like... Yeah, it's a good idea. Let's call Cyan. So, Kala. Fireworks. Okay, let me try. Because I'm trying with WhatsApp. Let me try with the direct number. So, back to this thing, yeah, Yabopur. So, you mean it was just a rumor? I want to even confirm it. So, it was just a rumor that she dropped the charges. So, it was never done. Wow. 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 That's wild. Oh, so and that's maybe why... that's the source of the breakup also. Mm. Him be like, why don't you drop the charges? Ah, nah, sign the cars over to my name. Yeah. Nah, I won't. Ah. What did you think about the Paul Mashidili thing? <sighs> Which one? There's two. There's the expose that he's living from uh, out of so- Edwin Sodi's house. And no way. Yeah, For there's real. an expose. There's an expose. Like, yeah. For real. But you know politicians and businessmen uh, who always get jobs from the government. The guys in government, politicians, will always, you know, benefit somehow. Either they're driving... Even Musi was driving a car of uh, Steinhoff when he was in the DA. Please, please check Musi Maimane... Uh, Musi Maimane, DA, Steinhoff... What's his name? Marcus Eustacar. Maimane Marcus Eustacar. 
So, 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 Paul Machatile is Edwin's ice boy. Yeah, he's just ah. a beneficiary of his material stuff, like houses. But, man, he said but he's I'll... moved in it's with like, him. It's like Malema, not moved in with him. Oh, <laughs> that's what man. I'm like, what? The whole man, come oh, on. Oh, yeah, that's what come I'm like, on. what? I mean, Edwin was like a billionaire guy. I mean, he's got all these homes. Even Malema, um, wasn't he at some point, weren't they reporting that he lives out of the Mazzotti's house in Hyde Park or something? Mm. And those guys are in the cigarette business. Mm, mm. So there's always these cozy relationships between uh, politicians. What's this? And... Another oh, award. Oh, it's another one. Whoop, whoop. The beverage. You'll read this one. The beverage brand. Oh, let's see. We had this before, didn't we? Yeah, last year. Okay, before Top we go Top 16 to Youth-Owned Brands Awards brought to you by Standard Bank. Top be- beverage brand, Granger Gin. Ah. That's up. Drink of champions. Hey. <laughs> shit, shit, that's the shit. Oh, that's beautiful. It must be there between the mm. bottles. Um, yes, according to news. Hey, Mara, do the timing. You know, we were talking about it, Mas. <laughs> you produce some Mara, you produce some Mara. Produce Ale. Now we can't even, like, you know, give it the, the, the shine it needs. Because we want to hear. Fact checkers waiting to go and. <laughs> Hey, hey, man, meet it sentence. Hey, dude. I'm going to Yeah, go on, fact checker. Um, yes, what you're saying is true about Musi Mamani. In 2019, it was discovered that he was driving a car that was linked to Marcus Euster. It was wow. actually paid by Marcus Thank Euster. Thank you. And then the what, same Musi goes on Twitter. The same Musi goes on Twitter. Because uh, there was a whole expose by News24 on uh, uh, Paul Mashatile and his uh, cozy relationship with Edwin Sodi. And you'll find it's probably not Edwin Sodi's only cozy relationship mm. with these politicians. And then he's still getting deals. Mm. So there was that. Then there was the whole um, security detail of his beating yeah. up those people. We saw the video. Yeah. So which one are you asking? I was asking the security guys. Beating the security up. guys? Yeah, yeah. No, those guys must face justice. Yeah, they have and to. also, here's the thing, right? People... Because that thing uh, coincidentally happened a week or two, a week, just over a week after the Paul Machatile expose of his relationship with Edin Suri. A lot of people are, now they've got this dislike for for Paul Machatile. But here's the thing, guys. This was his security detail. Oh. He was not there oh. when this thing happened. And had maybe he was there, we don't know how he was going to decide. Mm. We don't know was if he was going to say, leave these guys, let's go. Yeah. These guys yeah, are, but active, these repre- are grown men. But they represent him. No, Doc. they don't represent him. They do. If Neo does something dumb, does he represent you because he works for you somewhere at, at, in Pretoria? Yes, he does, bro. No, you'll take the knock. True. Why do I take the knock? Because I was not there. Yeah. Yes. And why would people then say, Mac must answer for Nero's actions? You were not there. Yes, but he represents the network. True. He's putting you into disrepute, but you don't need to answer for his sins. You don't need to. You will just say, I was at home with my family. I employed this guy for when I used his services. I was not using his services at that particular moment. But let's moment. be honest, so you so, appear being, like you're being insensitive. Yeah. To answer and like also that. people no, know him because of the but, network. But what I'm saying is, let's divorce people's dislike for Paul, right? He was not there. No, true. Yeah, you, but they represent him, bro. You can't scapegoat him for grown men doing something illegal. In they property. represent him, bro. They do, but they still... So they who were must not face off. the charges of assault? Bro, Paul. If, if, if you are talking about them uh, 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 off duty, beating up another guy, random guy, that's fine. They're off duty. They're not representing him in that time. But in that video, you can see they're on the clock. But he's not... He, he, Paul Machatila wasn't there, you know? But that. they're on the clock. So whatever they're doing in that clock, they represent him. Mm-hmm. So who must be charged for assault? Paul Machatila? No, but he has to answer. And, and say so what? How? Yes, Paul. I'm Paul. Ask me the questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Paul. I love that so. I'm Paul. Ask me the questions. What was going on with your peoples? I was in Zimbabwe with my third side chick. Getting a blowjob. Whether they use blue lights out of my, without my permission when I was not there, because they are, uh, 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 they are meant to use the blue lights when they are with me, guarding me. So when these guys use the blue lights, are you not aware what they are doing? 
I'm getting a, I'm getting head in Zimbabwe. I'm totally not aware. Yes or no? Do you know what they're doing? No. So you're not accountable for the people that you've employed in your company to protect you using your infrastructure? If they are not around me protecting me, I'm not accountable for their actions. And if they illegally use the blue light when they shouldn't have, they must face the music. Mm -hmm. That's irresponsible, dog. <laughs> that's so irresponsible. <laughs> That's so irresponsible. Wait, that's irresponsible, guys. Yes. yes. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay, guys, guys, you, number one, we don't, we don't know where Paul Mashatina was. Okay, we don't know. No, no, I see sensitivity aside. The law is unequivocal. It's black and white. Mm -hmm. There's no space for emotions in the law. True. Right? Just like when Mapurusa legally owns an asset, the law says you must take it back. <laughs> if I, That's the law. It's not emotions. Emotions aside, the law is the law, guys. It's black and white. Right? Mm -hmm. Paul was not there. Yes. Paul may have called them, come pick me up in this place. But they didn't say, Paul, there's these guys giving us problems. Should we go and beat them up? Yes, beat them up. That definitely, I can tell you, did not happen. Mm -hmm. So let's separate our dislike for Paul Mashatile mm -hmm. as a politician, whether because you vote for the DA or whether there was an expose that came out of him. Yeah. You know what it's like? It's like, I'll deviate a bit. Zandi Kumalo wrote a letter this week to President Ramaphosa mm -hmm. saying, can they please fast track this court case, even if it means assigning one particular court uh, to yes, handle it. the case? Yes. And it must take priority. A lot of people said, tech, you think you're special, whatever, 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 whatever. Then I was like, but guys, we all want to get to the bottom of this case. If that letter was written by Senzo's mom, well, we're going to say, you are not special, whatever, 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 whatever. So we allow our feelings and possibly, possibly hatred for her to now temper on how we deal with the letter. Just like, don't allow how the ANC nah, is so dog, crap. You, 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 you talking are talking about no. feelings. We're talking about logic, bro. Yes, logic. Listen, it's, it's, also, it's also logic. I, 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 That's I like logic. logic. I, like, I like logic. My man, yes? if, if you go to a, like a, a company mm. to uh, hire a car, yes. it's under your name. So yes. it, at the company, they know we're giving this car to Saul. Mm -hmm. Then under your watch, mm. you give it to me mm. or Simpiwe. Yes. And he crashes it while getting a blowjob. <laughs> Who's responsible for that car? Who's the driver of the car? Simpiwe. Yes. Crashes the car. Yes. Oh, definitely. Now, here's the thing. It's like, yes. <laughs> I'll bring it home even more. I'll make it better for you. I'll bring it home even more. Okay. Right? It's These are different situations. It's not. Tuso gets the spit bri. Yeah. You hide the spit bri, right, from these white people yes. or these black people. Yes. And he loses the spit bri. Yes. You need to pay for this. 100%. Right? And then you can recoup the payment from Tuso, who's Thank the you. actual responsible person. Facts. Sharp. But now, who are you charging for assault? Do you charge the company that, that has hired these guys or you charge these guys individually? The company in this instance being the government. Do you charge the government or do you charge these guys individually? No, but what you are saying is that I'm going to tell the spit bright, spit bright guys that, guys, I wasn't there. Talk to Tuso. That's what you are saying. No, no, no. But you are the one who made the call to say, can I hire a spit bri? They didn't know who was going to But that's try. what we are saying. Or the moment that uh, 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 Paul Mashatila has a security, uh, 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 whatever, detail, he's responsible for it. Who goes to jail for assault? Obviously the guys. So what does Paul have to do with it? He's, ah, yes, he so. represents them, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he has to answer. Yes. What should he answer to? What they're doing because he represents them. Okay, he's going to I mean, come they out. represent him. Then he hasn't said anything, but he's going to come out and say, I was not there and I do not that's know. Not, bro, that's like me saying to the spit bright guys, I was not there. I don't know. But I had to take accountability because I am the one. Because the spit is in your name. Exactly. The detail, who's it for? Bro. These are two oh, different things. He, uh, yes. No, no, no. Here's the thing. If these guys, if these guys crashed, right? You know what it's like? Boxbrook, gas, accidents. Mm. Who's responsible? The Penduga system. Let's say the company, the, the, that gas uh, tanker is owned by a, a company, right? And they say to the guy, take this route. This is Paul Mashatila telling his guys, come, go there, right? And then 
In going there, they decide they're going to stop and beat up guys for whatever reason. This guy then decides he's going to take his own routes. That's why it's his responsibility that was not sanctioned because the, by the company. But the company needs to do due diligence. Mm. For them to employ someone that will do that, they didn't do their due diligence. These are, these are cops. They did a due diligence. These are all qualified cops. These yeah, are cops. But why isn't so many ministers have details? Why aren't other ministers' details doing that? Oh, so many have. Like who? There's a blind man who got, uh, uh, an, uh, an elderly guy who got killed by these guys. These guys are always involved. There's a kid. Uh, 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 yeah, I forgot his name. Who got involved in an accident, and in, in, including these guys, because they're always speeding, who's brain dead now. Uh, a, a high scholar has some white kid who's brain dead for life. Mm. Oh. They die. So many ministers, they always die in these car cr- David Mabuza's guys were in an accident. They always get involved in accidents. Now, if the guy was drinking on the job and was driving the car of David Mabuza or as part of his security cars and he wasn't there, then we can't... Guys, ANC is fucked up and all. We all have feelings, you know, mm. towards the ANC and stuff. But what I'm saying is separate in this instance because he was not there and had he was there, he has got the authority to say... You can't do what, this. What do you think, Ghost Lady? Leave this. And part, part of the reason they acted that way because he was not there. What, what do you think, Ghost Lady? I just feel like I hear Sol, you're saying that. She, it's like it's the logic thing to also do is he wasn't there. You can't he was scapegoat absorbed, him for that. But he can't be completely absorbed because it's connected. Everything, there's always a name to something, you know. And, True. And in this instance, it's Paul Mashatile. So it's just acknowledgement. I think you thinking like maybe him doing time and also He doesn't have a case same, to answer to. No, he doesn't even. No, so that's people, I don't think yes. people are calling He doesn't have that. a case to answer to. You know, he doesn't. He doesn't. But because of your public figure, you are, you are the, in fact, you are government in this instance. It's not even that we know, we, we are saying government. Government becomes who? Paul. So at least come out and just be sensitive to what has happened. And obviously say that. That's I not don't, what Mac is saying. He was going for Paul's head. But That's no, not what, I don't, no. I don't, I don't understand it. What like do you want this. Paul to do? No, because you didn't say. I was saying it's not enough to say I was not there. Yeah. What's enough? To take responsibility because those people How? represent you, especially where, when they're on the clock. Hence, I said, if that guy is at a Chisanyama somewhere and he's beating up someone, but he's not on the job, mm. that's him acting uh, uh, by his own. He's not on the clock. You understand? But if you're on duty and you act that but way. But we don't know that they were on duty. Bro, so they just walk around and hang, uh, ah. carrying guns. Ah, so on the, the highway. highway. Aibo, Aibo, Aibo. Bro, <laughs> oh, they look like people who are at work. Yeah. Yes, they I... moved like people but, who are at work. But we'll Maybe they're going to fetch now. him. We don't know. Yes. But yeah, he... yeah, yeah, we don't know. Thank you. You just said we don't know. But bro, so you telling me how many that... cops use sirens when there's no need? They just want to beat traffic. Come on, so come on. Now you're just trying to prove a point. Ah. No, no, you're no, telling it, me these niggas are rolling around with those guns in with bulletproof vests? That, um, oh, just gee, on a random. Yeah, that, that guy was with a gun at night. We don't even know if it was a service pistol or not. Ah. Guys, how many people are but this is South Africa? Don't lie, bro. Son. Wait, guys. I'm saying we are assuming they're on duty. You right? can see they're on duty, bro. So where's the guy they're meant to protect? Maybe they're going, going to, to him. Fetch. Or so, maybe they just dropped him. They are on transit to go fetch him. Okay. Yeah. Eh? Then there's no need for him. Bro, guys, man. What? There's this, no need for him what too? I'm saying, these guys must face justice because they, they were speeding people. I mean, oh no, I mean, uh, one might might assume that the guy with the polo maybe was uh, uh blocking their their way. Maybe always, we've always because encountered these because guys. They want to speed. Just move. Where they, go. Yeah, they want to speed because they're late. Paul Mashadila said, "Come fetch me at seven. It's now quarter past seven. Shy motor boy." But now that I think you guys but, are pushing But guys, post half of the times, <laughs> cops with sirens are not even rushing to a crime scene. They just want to get through traffic. We know that. They abuse the sirens. You're assuming. How do you know that? Yeah. You're assuming too. <laughs> How do you know they're on the clock? <sighs> How do you know they're on the clock? You can see, dog. They don't just wake up and roam around like that on a random day. Like, they walk in a chisanyama with a gun and a bulletproof vest. <laughs> ah, come on. So loud. Okay, oh, but wow. what, what I was saying is, these guys must face justice because mm. Upal Mashatil had nothing to do with their actions. He had nothing to do. He didn't send those guys to beat up yeah. people. And I'm not a pro-ANC person. I'm the one person who's very honest about the ANC and I don't like the ANC because they fucked up the country and they're still fucking it up further. But separate that from what happened here. 
These guys must all face the might of the law individually. Ah, but you know they won't. It's always it's under investigation. Yeah, then they're gonna get moved to another minister, mm. and and they'll get taken care of, and that's the fucked up part. And then what's happening there, Kaya? I do the breakfast show. <laughs> that's what I do. With there. who? With who? With Caesar at the moment. For how long? It's been a month. And when is Danielle coming back? I don't know. She's your friend. What did you say? Ha, but she's your colleague. Yeah. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. You know, like when things happen at the crown, a lot of times you don't know what management is doing at the top, you know, the directors of the companies and stuff. And that works like with any other company. Like if I ask now, what's happening with Podcast and Chill? Yeah, yeah, they're at the top. The deals. So, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I don't know what's I going you, on uh, between Dineo. We can call her. Do her. You've got her number. We can call her. Uh, Actually, I'm let's many... call her Dineo. Uh, when I stop wanting to call everybody, man. Hey. Uh, Dineo was your friend. Uh, You're he... asking your other friend about your other friend when you can directly call your other friend. Aye, uh, my man. Let's just talk about it. I don't it. know what's going on, bro. I don't no, know. She, it's she, not like she, the company she, says this is what they do. Did she get fired so. or is she, she leaving? She got, she got fired. fired. Yes. Yeah, she got yeah, fired. Yeah, I saw that Instagram where she said she oh, got yes. fired. I, <laughs> I saw it the first time. How? I saw it, it was the first time seeing it with you everybody. You answered when he asked you what's going on. <laughs> oh, is that what he meant? Yes. Well, Mac is the best interviewer in the country. He knows how to ask direct questions. <laughs> so if he's going to pussyfoot around questions, how should I answer? <laughs> I found out with the rest of the country that she got fired from uh, the, her Instagram. Yeah, how do you feel about that, bro? Obviously sad, man, you know I mean? I would... But I think we saw it coming, man. It's difficult because, I mean, you, you always have to think. Um, you don't know what direction the station will take and you don't know what decisions she will make because, I mean, she just came out with something really serious. The, her condition that she has, you know, it's, it's, uh, what is it? Um, I don't know it's got to do with men, mental. Yeah, it's a, mental yeah it's, it's a serious condition. So it was after that, you always never knew, you know, is, it, is, is she going to say, I'm move, walking away. I want time to recover. What direction will the station take? I mean, I saw uh, the comment and I went through her comments and then one of her comments was she didn't read uh, the rest of the letter. You know what I mean? Um, so all the details are in that letter as as why there's the, the station and her are parting ways. Um, yeah. Exactly she says she was letter. fired. We don't know what the, 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 the letter says. You know? I think this is as a result to it to becoming a legal matter. Mm. <laughs> is it a legal matter, Kanye? Yeah, what is it? Between the two parties. <laughs> like, which is like Dineo, it's a legal yeah. matter. Like, yeah, it's it's between between <laughs> both parties, which is the is and Kaya Are there legal proceedings happening? Yes. Where is this confirmed? Okay, so can you explain why we're laughing? It's because Dineo. in the background, dude is coaching. Oh, dude is coaching. Ghost lady <laughs> number two. Hey, there's the hey, mic. Hey. Ghost lady number two. Ghost lady. Dude is busy going. Coach here, like she takes you behind, like. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it, fucking. <laughs> it's gonna be my kid, dude. Let's go to the mic. Gosh, can you like? Did it's you a legal proceeding. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a legal proceeding. Yeah, yeah. You know what you say? Yeah. No, because it's legal. Legal, hi. This is a serious matter. <laughs> but no, I was telling Kanye, I, I passed my phone to Kanye so she can just, you know, um, mention the fact that at the moment, it's a legal... We're in the middle of which one? <laughs> <laughs> It 
don't do it. <laughs> hey, in this is our know, list. We're not to be wrong on this podcast, dude. You're just trying to make us perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, to do. Yes, but um, yeah. So um. <laughs> No, it is a legal matter now at the moment. So I just wanted to Damn. I was uh I just wanted us to be a bit factual about the matter. So we can't really go into detail, but what we know at the moment um is that it is a legal matter between the two parties, the two parties being Kai FM and uh uh, How come no no one ever leaves smoothly there? Remember, Unati was taking them to court as well. Well, but I, we we saw the Unati matter. We heard it play out. I mean, mm. Unati falsely accused Usizwe of um, was it swearing at mm. him or whatever, right? And then, Skumba, they left nicely, ne? Skumba, there they didn't the drive show. Oh, they didn't yeah. drive. Yeah, oh. man. Oh, Skumba, oh, I mean, come on now. Oh, yeah, Skumba's still there. So the Unati thing, we saw what happened. She falsely accused Caesar of something she didn't say. And then there was a recording mm. from the studio mics where she didn't say all that. And yeah, and that was before my time. So I wouldn't answer to that. I can't. Oh, shit, dog. Did you see uh, the radio numbers? They came out, eh? And we're killing these motherfuckers, eh? For real. Who came out? The radio numbers. For real? Yeah. Well, but Ukozi stay tops. Yeah, so Ukozi, oh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this historically is, they've been big. Ah, no, cause. So this is the numbers on radio, right? And this is based on, uh, what's that thing they do? What is it called? You know when they go to people's houses and they ask... They no longer do it like that. Uh, how do they do it now? Say, say, was it diaries, censor? those diaries and stuff. Yeah, yeah. How do, how do they do it There's now? a different methodology after COVID now. Yeah. Yeah, they changed that. So how but, are they doing it? I don't know. But, they, but you know it's all thumb sucked. Is it? Yeah, it's not like YouTube where you can actually see. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. It's a sample and then they blow it up. Yeah. It's a sample it's and a then sample, it's blown yeah. up. It's not like the actual real... So movie. how they used to do it before is Kanye, they'd come to your house and say, what station do you listen to? Yes. Mm. And then you say, um, I don't know, Ukozi. And then you represent 10 people. Yeah. It's a sample. You're oh. a sample size and then they're going to blow it up into... So you're going to do a thousand people and blow it up into a million people. So those readings... Times by a thousand. thousand. Oh, so, yeah. number one is Ukozi FM. Shout out to Ukozi Told FM. You. 7.597 million listeners. But this is um, weekly. Do you get that? Yeah. So, it means 7 million people tuned into Ukozi in like one week. Yeah. Do you get me? Hmm. And then Metro FM is 4 million. Four, five, three, five. What other station you want to know? Kaya. Kaya is not in the top 20. Sorry, sorry. It's the truth. It's the truth, my man. It's the truth. Because now I'm out now, you represent the guy. So you must account for this. No, let us cook. We're cooking. Let us cook. Yeah, you know. We're cooking. Let us cook. Top 20. Ah, let us cook. We're cooking. And where's 947? 947 is. Okay, so it's top 20. And what that speaks to, yes. Right? So at number 20. Is Hot FM with 810,000. Okay. 99.2 FM, 899,000. Number 19. Okay. Number 19. 18 is 5 FM, 940,000. Mm-hmm. And then we've got 947 at 1,072,000. And what this speaks to at number 17, what that speaks to is the most listened to station yep. Yep. isn't necessarily the most profitable station. Yeah. Yeah. Probably you'll find a station that makes a lot of money there. Is maybe a 702 or a high Yes. And they got like way the, less than less. 7 million. Not even a million listeners. Not even, yeah. 702. So you may find because of the regional and the reach as well. You know what I mean? So uh, let, let's cook. We're cooking at Kaya, bro. You, you have to listen to us. <coughs> Oh, what could you do? You don't lie. I mean, me, I listen to mixes. I listen to Don't lie. Styles. Don't lie, man. Selective Make your love radio, bro. Yeah. Make your radio is, radio is, is a love. For my man, you. I used to. You, my man. 
Nah, Meg. Every time I've been in your car, when you used to pick yeah, my yeah, yeah. What do I listen to in the car? You're always with me in the car. Okay, off lately, it's mixes. Exactly. Yeah, but Thank you. Remember much. when you used to pick me up at the Khao train when we were doing the show at her house? And I was always on the radio. Mm. And, you, and you tell me, like, you know, this girl, man. Yeah, then you went on it. That time I think he can it, fix this thing. His phone, no. Yeah, because you were like, his radio is by the time. You're like, yeah, I wanted this girl. If she can fix this point. She's one of the best out there, man, you know? Now, I let's do. Radio. But that car that he had before couldn't, only could play. Yes, exactly. The band. Yeah, hey, when I want to own Mac, let's pray now. Now, 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 Pastor, we let's pray now. Now, now, bro, I'm trying to find our, our, our listenership a week, our viewership a week. What are you on now? Here we go. We do. It's out of my fit. It's out of my fit. <laughs> One point six million a week, mm. and we didn't thumb suck that. So if it's nice. a sample, that's ten million. Ha! <laughs> hey, Mac. Hey, Mac. Hey, <laughs> I'm blowing I up the numbers. Look, 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 look. Look, yep. look read it there. Hey, we'll even square the screenshot. Damn. The past seven days. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's 1.5 million, about the same as previous seven days. So it's consistent. So it's consistent. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Chillers are powerful, man. Yeah. But you know what they say in life, so when one door closes, another open. Yeah, yeah, definitely, bro. Mm. So I'd yeah. like to take this opportunity yeah. to welcome our yeah. newest member. Oh, yeah? To the podcast network. Who? Oops. Ladies and gentlemen. Whom? Please. Round of applause. Whom? For the one and only. Whom? Dineo Ranaka. Oh, God! Yeah. Yeah. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> and they'll have a show with Son. <laughs> oh, for real. So, 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 Dudu is the executive producer of the show. Fuck, they shot it. Yeah. When do you guys shoot it? On Thursday, ne? First episode. Oh. Fucking the set looks Dope. Mm. Guess what they're talking about? What? It's all about sex, baby. Sex. It's all about oh. sex and me. Hey. It's all about all the sex. good things. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Sex. That's you a do. sex song, ne? That's you how it goes, ne? Come tell us. Um, I think yeah. you're talking about, yeah. Come tell us. I remember that song from Trust Condoms. Yeah. So what happens in the first episode? Come tell us about sex, Dudu. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Dudu, come on, yeah. Dudu. Hey. When should, can we drop it on Tuesday, guys? Should we drop it on Tuesday? What do you think, Penduka? Tuesday. Tuesday, 3 p.m. Mm, I agree. Yeah, Tuesday works. Why did that take you long, my man? Like, hmm? why did that take you long to answer? Oh, because the other things, what well, we have. We have Monday, I get it's us. Yes. Uh, Monday, 3 p.m. is us. Yes. Tuesday, 3 p.m. is Dineo now. Yes. And then 6 p.m. is on site, the uh -huh. soccer podcast. Okay. Shout out to them, man. On they had Tuesday. Josta Jada last week, man. Oh. Shout out to them. Ha, Josta, shout out. And then Wednesday, popcorn and cheese. Oh, oh, it's a robbery in our tire shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what a judge. <laughs> and then Thursday, it's us again, okay. 3 p.m. And then, yeah. Yeah, Tuesday works. Tuesday. Yeah. Who came up with the sex thing, dude? It's, it's you. <laughs> no, it's not me. But um, so, Dineo, for this podcast, she basically wanted to. Um, bring people into the phase that she's currently in. So it is about sex and also mental health. So it's sexual health and mental health. So getting head. Getting your head right. I'm <laughs> <laughs> getting your head, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, it really is about that essentially. So everything that is tied to sex and also how your brain works. So <laughs> I was right then. <laughs> Watch sex. Uh, what's it called? I don't know. Sex what? and stuff. Watch sex and stuff to get your head right. But ladies. she said she didn't like that technique. name though. No, we we she didn't like the first one, which was was f what you heard. Yeah, fuck so what we, you heard. Yeah, I like so that. We changed That's it. It's coming in the ear. <laughs> right. Fuck what you heard. <laughs> fuck what you heard. Have you come in someone's ear before? <laughs> yeah. The, so the you do know your daughter's gonna watch this, right? Someday. Remove that part. <laughs> Yo, remove it. Remove it. Thank you, bro. My nigga, my. Yeah. Like, see, boys look out for one another. Remove it, yeah? Remove it. Remove it. No, I'm serious. 
<laughs> my nigga looks out for me. My nigga looks out for me. Remove it. Fuck, yeah, so... you know, fuck what you see. <laughs> you know where you come and fuck what you see. <laughs> Here I come. <laughs> Sorry, let's Remove that. <laughs> I told him that I watch this. Remove it. Remove it. Remove that shit, dog. <laughs> All right, fuck oh, but I love that name. Fuck what you heard. Fuck oh, what you heard is, is dope, but it's not really like brand friendly. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. So yeah, we changed it to uh, Daniel on sex and stuff. The other stuff, it's the mental health and a whole lot of other things. So she's know? happy with Daniel and sex and stuff. We are happy. It is. It is the one. That's the one. We you know, Daniel is anal. I hope you guys are ready, eh? Hey, no, a yeah, yeah, she's anal. Uh, hey, guys, I can't wait for sex and stuff like that. Fuck and hell. She's anal. Hey, so Okay, that means I'm gonna. That's an interview. We're gonna have a back door. Ah. I can't wait for that show, man. Hey. Yeah, no. So the first episode is really just um, exploring um, how usually sex is sex and self pleasure is usually shamed in, like you know, South Africa or other parts of the country. But not on this also, podcast, not. yeah. But in this yeah, country, yeah. Now we welcome sex and self pleasure. Yeah, yeah, true. That is very true. But in this country, we're quite conservative. Yeah, so we're exploring yeah. all of that. We have a pastor on the panel. Whoa. We have a sexologist on Whoa! the panel. We have a every week. We have a porn um star on the panel Who? as well. So we're just discussing. Who's the porn star? <laughs> it's gonna you. You should watch. Uh, so who's you the can porn star? Out. You should watch so you can know. Oh, uh, uh, what do you mean? Definitely. Okay, I'll find out after the show. You'll tell me, but okay, yeah. fair enough. You know he never watches anything on yeah. the network. I know. That's why he's I know. Been. Who's the ghost guy on Popcorn and Cheese? Popcorn and Cheese. <laughs> Titi Chuma! Choo choo! Choo choo! Choo choo! The train is coming. Titi Chuma, bro. Titi Chuma! Choo choo! Hey, shit, man. It's so crazy because the concept came up uh, in New York. When we oh, right, right, right. Oh. the network overseas. Yeah. So to see it happening now is like crazy. Oh. Wow, brilliant. But I hope she's not going to do one episode again and then just go stars. No, Remember yeah. she did that one podcast with her baby. Yeah, and the, and the things about podcasting is consistency. Like the, the main thing is people get... Uh, uh, um, but she'll maybe, have the time now though. So. We said with the network, developed a whole show, a whole season. Kanti just wanted to talk to her baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Less is more. On, on camera. Less is more. That's why I said, speak to Thales and leave it at that. Not Thales, what's the black lens? Speak to black lens and, and leave it at that. Less is more. Anyway, what last, uh, lastly, what do you want to talk about, Ghost Lady? Um, did you guys hear about Coffee Meat Rent? So it's been listed as a, a subtle prostitution Venue. Ah, that's every club. But all parties Chobik, are. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you been to well, venues? Fuso, uh, oh, you uh, take a go. Oh, you your once. DJs. You would. Yeah, oh, everything. It's not just coffee. Everywhere, oh. man. I'll take you now. Where do you want to go? <laughs> and also, the establishment cannot ask people when they come in. Are you here to sell pussy or to buy booze? Right? Everybody's there to buy booze. And then they mingle with someone mm. and they charge in a hotel, not there, and say 2000 3000 5000 for pussy, you must pay. And we're not just saying this because coffee books us every week. Hey. No, this is the life, guys. Hey. This is the lifestyle in Joburg, eh? Okay? <laughs> it's the lifestyle. Yeah, you can go to any club, man. Yeah, any club. The, so the, the, the woman setting. demand 2,000 rand. Yeah, it's called under, Amavu, so yeah. 2, There's a video that was trending of a girl demanding 7,000. Damn. And the guy tries to, in his recording, like, <laughs> and he's, he's then, they drop to 5,000. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but and if you don't pay, her? it's a rape case. Yes, we saw it in adulting, remember? So what, mm. so was it right for him to record her? Uh, hey, she there. I've been thinking too much today, man. Yes. Hey, 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 I think you wanted to, 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 you know, it was right because he was protecting himself because a lot of the times 
If you don't pay the money, the girl says it's rape. Yeah. So then in, in him but having... Actually, a, but he's also now exposing her. I'm answering your question. She's there naked. I'm answering your question. And doesn't know she's been recorded. Yes, one would say well, half it's naked. revenge porn or whatever. And that's illegal. That is that is illegal. True. There's uh, So is blackmailing. Yeah, however, however, in court, if now it's a rape case, she says, he raped me. Then he pulls out that video clip that now clears him of the rape because we're seeing the girl soliciting money for sex from him. Mm -hmm. Is the court going to say, you took this video illegally, therefore we don't care of the content of the video, you're guilty of rape? Yeah, it reminds me of a guy. There's a guy who actually went through that in America. What's his name? They could, but we don't know if they will. To answer your statement, yes, they can rule out the evidence. If, according to laws in South Africa, you have to notify the person that you're recording, recording them. them. That's why also at call centers or when you're talking to someone and they're recording your call, you have to tell them that, hey, be notified that you're being recorded. Same goes with videos. So even if the proof is in the pudding, like, yes, it shows that she's talking to you and it was a transaction. It won't be used. You're going to have to use other methods. Always. If someone is trying to solicit money out of me and my only uh, uh, way of saving myself and my name is recording them, I will record them. Mm. And it's the same thing that happened. a lawyer to... that can justify it. Yeah, the same thing uh, that happened to really. Jonathan Majors. Do you know him? Yes. He's an actor. Sounds very. F- uh, this, oh this yes, guy. the guy in in in, in, in the Five Bloods. This guy. Yes, yeah. that's him. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. So he got accused by this lady of GBV, right? Mm-hmm. And then Hollywood cancelled him, right? And then now um, <clears throat> they went to court and he provided evidence that such didn't transpire. Actually, she abused him. Now she's going to jail. So it's not illegal. Same with Neymar. But that's America. Remember Neymar. That's America. Remember Neymar. Remember Neymar. Mm. He was also accused of rape. And then he showed a video. And that case uh, uh, was, yeah, yeah, thrown, was away. Thrown, thrown out. Mm. So, guys, if you if it's the only saving grace, fucking record. I'm not going to allow someone to ruin my life for shit I didn't do. Mm. And I could have saved it by recording. You mm. know what I mean? So, yeah. Neymar, same thing happened. Yeah. You know? It happens with men. Let's not lie, guys. You know what I mean? Where we could falsely but what he also rape. did. When he there's post- so many p- proper rape victims. But I think also another victims. thing just um, is that he posted this on social media for no one asked for it. So it's not like there was a case and he, this was using yeah. this as a defense. Then he must be charged. So yeah, also, yeah. that's also... Yes. He, yeah. Then he just can po- be charged. Yeah, you shared this yes. now and that's wrong. Then he can be charged. You should have done it on threads. No one's there. Uh. <laughs> 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 we asked the chillers if you buy your partner a car, is it okay to repossess it after you break up? 72% have said yes. Yes. 28 have said no. I know. Now, if we need yes, it mustn't be repossessed. Yeah. If we need it mustn't be. Yeah, but for what they were saying, no. My man, edit, guys, edit it in such a way where it seems like I'm agreeing with him, ne? Ah, no, no. <laughs> no. No, guys, let's be honest. Mm-mm. But for you, that's as no, men, as The, is, the mistake men. Well, he's making, to... he's making it look like it's just, ah, next. <laughs> What's this one? <laughs> Substitute. <laughs> <laughs> no, as men, in this this, <laughs> <he can't. laughs> as men, we're held to different social standards than women, yet they want to quite. Oh, let me read the comments. Things. Let me read the comments. There's 12 oh, comments here. Yeah. I'm going to no. go there. Yeah, sorry, continue, Ghost yes, Lady. Yes, go there. So, go, the, go there. Continue, <laughs> Ghost Lady, while I wait for the comments here. No, because if the roles were reversed, like a woman took a car because it's going to be fine. Yeah, <laughs> fine. Okay. Look at the first comment. It's it. But yes, it's called the pori technique. <laughs> <laughs> if she ain't the mother of your kids, then yes. Mm, okay. What you're exactly. speaking to, right? They're yes. probably talking about it now, right on the show. Yes, we are. we are. Honestly, it's not a matter of it's okay or not. It's up to you. I'm not going to sit here and say pori is petty, immature, or childish. The same way he wasn't forced to buy a car mm. is the same way he's not forced to let her keep it. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Free Mac, will. Yeah. You are messy for saying this. I don't know what I did there. Yes, and the weave and everything else. Huh? <laughs> no, no. Technically, you can take everything. You can take everything you bought for her. The t shirt, yeah. the Gucci t shirt, also. If he chooses to, but he's chosen these two particular things, and that's fine. Otherwise, it can come for everything he bought. That's oh, with relationships. You'll go through this thing. Oh, 
Anyway, I heard uh, Nasty C's girl is pregnant. Damn, that's nasty, man. Ah, yeah. <laughs> is it gonna be a C-section? <laughs> <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> the birth. Is this first? Is, is it his first kid? <laughs> Zulu yeah. kid with some power, power, power. <laughs> Hold on, shout oh, out to them. They've been together for long. No, man. He's 22, Udi. man. He should be practicing safe sex. What's I'm wrong with him? He's not 22. I'm done. Bob. What is he teaching the kids? Bob, we just see, man. Yeah, they've been together for how many, over 10 years. Bob, shout out. Bob. That's amazing. Yeah, and shout out. financially take care of the kids, so yeah. So it's a true thing. Yeah. Damn. We should have to see. <laughs> uh, after how many years in that relationship? Man, this is not a kid, bro. Come on, you wise. It's not a kid anymore. <laughs> hey, man. You still see him as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I do, man. Uh, also, what else is there? Ah, that's about it, man. Anything else, you got, Ghost Lady? I got to make an announcement. Oh, uh, yeah? We're doing a masterclass with Taz the Medium. Ooh. On the 29th of July at Empress Palace. It starts at 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. Tickets are available at Quick Take, Quick It. And uh, lunch will be served. So I'm looking forward to that, man. <laughs> but I'm so glad um, I, 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 I survived the show, man. Shit. Why? I'm so glad that I was able to do it because, yeah, man, I had, a, yeah, I had a hectic day today, man. What happened? Uh, my uncle, you know the rich one? Yeah, he passed away, man. Rexon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I Rex. What the fuck, bro? Mm. So I got a call, like, literally on the way to the show, man. So. Joe Rexon, dog. I Rex. I Rex. Yeah. It's gone, bro. Fish. Gone, gone, gone. Fish. I want to say Rexon P. <laughs> <laughs> but he'd be laughing at that from the grave. Let's be honest. You know, he was a big yeah, chiller. So too soon. So yeah, too soon. Too too soon. Yeah, what happened, bro? Uh, I don't know yet, but I think it's something to do with his heart failure or like something to do with his. Yeah, because it was a big guy. Yeah, it was, it was, a, big it was guy. a very massive guy. Yeah. Oh. And the saddest thing is that there's something I wanted to show him because he stays in Blue Garden. So like for three months, I was calling him. I'm like, yo, bro, come through, come through, come through. I need to show you this thing, you know? What do you want to show him? Ah, it doesn't matter. Or you're building something. No, 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 no. I wanted to show him something that he's been talking to me and telling me I must do for the longest time. So I finally did it. And I wanted to surprise him and show him. But he never came, bro. And yesterday, actually last night, I was calling him because I wanted to do my birthday at IREX this year. So I was trying to call him to book the venue, but he never called me back. And that's never happened. Like usually when he gets a missed call, he'll call me back like in an hour or two. So it was a sudden death. Yeah. Because it wasn't like in hospital. Or no, 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 no. Passed away at home, yeah. How many kids? Uh, I think he's got about three. Damn, man. Yeah. But you'll see it. Wherever he is, you'll see what you've done and you wanted to show him. So still talk to him and be like, uncle, you know, this is what I've been doing. You had said I should do it. I hope you, you're happy, proud mm. and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, the body is dead, but the soul lives on, man. Yeah. No. And, and I was his favorite niece, eh? Yeah, I, yeah, I know. The nephew. way he spoke about you. Nephew. Oh, sorry, nephew. <laughs> I could tell, man. Yeah, no, nah, man. It's cool, man. Damn, bro. That sucks, man. Hey, dog. Fuck, man. Thanks for telling us this at the end of the show. Yeah, no, I couldn't. I told yeah. Ghostly, don't tell anyone. It's man. so heavy. It's going to kill the mood of yeah, the show. I've met him before, so like it's heavy, bro. Mm. Mm. But at least we got through the show, man. Hey, it's tough, eh? Condolences to the family. Yeah, even the yeah. Bukhomaklat as well, condolences. Mm. When I heard that, I... Tell, tell, tell people who they were for those who Grand don't know. Joe. Oh, it's the, the <laughs> user user. So, so I'm not, not telling me. You boy. What? <laughs> Ukraine Joe. No, Ukraine Joe. Joe. Ukraine Joe. <laughs> when, I, when I heard of his death. That's the guy who did user user. Bomb sh- he did. He was part of bomb, uh, bomb production. I don't know if he still is, but user user, Kazlam... <laughs> Um, all the shows that Bomb Production did. I know now they're doing um, Shaga Ilembe. Yeah. I don't know if he's part of it, but he I is. Mean, he, it's part of his legacy still because, you know, Bomb, sh- Fuck bomb Production. Sir. I wonder what Saul's going to say when I pass away. Yeah. Hitting the very pants, very pants, very pants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. What if I die first? Ah, never. What if we well, never? Ah, never ah. talk. Hey, stop it, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's not talk about death. Ish, Ish. Yeah. Anyway. Well, we're here now, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, we are here, man. Podcast and chill. Peace, guys. Here's what you missed on uh, the podcast network this week.
This is the Podcast and Chill Network. But anyway, I come back bearing gifts. Huh? Oh, there again. Oh, I, I'm American. I feel that to donate to Africa. You yeah. for food aid. <laughs> <laughs> you for food aid for the Africans. So guys, yeah, he also uses. He loves me so much. He uses uh, the brand Mac for his makeup. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I can tell you, bro, Nigga is the biggest fucking piano song in the world. Right? Nigga is fucking. Wow. Ooh, ooh. Nigga is beasted. Hey, Nigga that song is, is laced, bro. Believe in the two thousand. Oh, yeah, you believe in the two thousand. Two thousand are the future. They're gonna save this country. Kiss it. I'm about to release album of the year. Album, album, poison. Hey, hey, hey that's a big. Around, man. That's a okay. big. I'm uh, fucking around. Uh, I'm telling you, bro. Big statement. I can feel it, bro. Beautiful. They both put out guns. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, boy, it's not so good. Now, what? It's not so good. Said it's some pop pops and robot boys. Yeah? 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 Your view, no, 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 like two streets away. Oh, it wasn't a, yeah, like Copa Nasgate. No, no, no. Okay. So, like, streets. Copa Namukasi. I'm going to go to the street. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Before you came onto the show, and and let me please bring the snake. Yeah. Bring the python, guys. What python? So we're oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. oh, So you can freestyle? Yeah, I can freestyle. Top of the dome. Let's go. Top of the dome. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. Ooh, la la. Check it out. Oh, I'm chilling. Uh-huh. Let me just think of something else. I'm just I'm chilling. Tight up. Springbok. Yo! say the white man came with the Bible mm, mm. but that was because that was his prophecy that was the blessing his father put upon him with Ham he said you know what you will be a, a you, you will be a servant of servants so Inyanga heals and also does witchcraft so Iapilisa mm. Iabulala Oh. Right? <laughs> I am a Christian. I'm just not a saved Christian. <laughs> What's the difference? Please explain. Whoa. So you, you can't necessarily say that you would attain salvation after death because what happens if you're reborn <laughs> or if you're sent somewhere else? It was a joke, but you guys. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I always love your questions. Uh, just, <laughs> oh, I'll leave then, it's fine. No, 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 no. You can <laughs> let me go, right? This is the Podcast and Chill Network.